Let's see if I have it on mute. Oh, maybe it's on now. Hello. Check, check, check. Hello, people. How's it going? Uh, you're probably going to have someone coming up soon. Hey, I, I, it seemed like... There you go. It seemed like my <laughs> thing was on mute. Hello, people. How's it going? Okay. Thanks for that. Hey, Michael, what's up? Uh, how you doing? Thank you for checking out the stream. I am in Shinsaibashi, well, very close to Shinsaibashi Station, at uh, the Art Gallery Popelier, a Gallery Popelier, with Mr. Popelier himself again. We were here just a little while ago. He says, hey, hey, Michael. We were here a while ago just uh, showcasing the newest uh, gal exhibition. Uh, we actually went out to Shiga to interview the artist for this. So I'll give you a quick, quick tour of it. Uh, but I'm going to be uploading a more extensive video later on pretty soon. Uh, and also, uh, Popelier is going to be uploading the interview that we did with him. And uh, here is the man himself, Mr. Shimoura. Is that right? Shimoura. And uh, the guy is 80 years old, but he still looks live. He's kicking and well. And um, yeah, Popelier and I went out there and did that interview with him. So um, we're going to... Uh, kind of market this exhibition until the 28th, right? August 28th, is it? End of this month, yeah. End of this month. And he came up with a really cool name for the gallery, which is Not yes. Dead Yet. Exhibition, right? Oh, awesome. That's it, Not Dead Yet. So if any of you guys are in the Kansai region, come check it out until August 28th. But there are some more exciting things that are going to be coming. So make sure to check back here uh, month by month. There'll be some new artists yeah, and new events coming up. Right, so next one is going to oh. be Aki-san, okay. Japanese artist. It's very good, very uh, abstract stuff, but very uh, textures, those subtle textures, some beautiful colors, very nice. Awesome, awesome. Can't wait for that. And that starts when? September uh, when? September 6th. September 6th. Okay, so we'll be back checking in on that. Um, and yeah, hopefully we'll get to meet Aki-san as well. Yeah. Short to everybody. Uh, actually, yes, because we're gonna, we will, you will meet her. Yep. 22nd of August, because we'll do an interview with her. That's right, that's right. Oh, awesome. Hey, Khan is here. He's like, hey, Hisashi Vurine, been a while. He's, he's the, the metal guy, and he's all about purple, so he's, he's loving your shirt. All oh, right. Yeah, and all. Okay, well, anyways, Papelia, thank you yeah, so much for today. For all right, I will uh, leave you to your, yeah, your, enjoy the rest your stream. Thing. Thank you, thank you. Hope it goes well. I hope so too. Thank you very see much. You next time, man. Yeah, we'll see you soon. We'll see you soon. Yes. Keep in touch. Keep in touch. All right, so that was, that was Papelia. Let's say goodbye to Papelia. Say. All right, catch you later, man. The stream. It's because we're going through some stairwells. But uh, yeah, how cool is that? We're starting our stream at the gallery, the fourth floor. And uh, we're gonna try to head to Shinsaibashi, Dotonbori, before too long. Um, however, I will let you know, it is a bit of a rainy day. Uh, maybe the rain has stopped a wee bit, which is good. I don't know if we'll get a sunset though. It's gonna be kind of cloudy. So, Con, Michael, how are you guys doing out there? You doing all good? All right, I'm just uh, tidying up, tightening up the shoes, getting me umbrella. And you can see all the different uh, galleries that they have here in the same building at the fourth floor. This is the gallery building in Minami Semba. All right, so we're going to head out towards Dotonbori. It is raining a wee bit, but I'm not going to let that hold me back. Okay, I'm just closing up. There's the Tawan Thai restaurant just beside it. And yeah, let's head out. Let's roll out. Guys, let me know how the stream is looking and sounding as usual. And if you're new here, make sure to say hi and tell us where you are watching from. Nice Hong Kong restaurant, kind of reminds me of Vancouver on the right. Had some good uh, dim sum there one afternoon when I was in Shinsaibashi. Now, yes, Osaka, Kansai, Tokyo, a lot of the major places are under a state of emergency right now. So it's just after 6.30 and most restaurants and stuff, if they are open, will be closed around 8 p.m. And we are actually at the start of Obon. So 
yeah, there's probably not going to be that many people out anyways. But we'll see. Um, what we got on the hit list are a lot of cool places that I want to show you around in Shinsaibashi. Some local favorites, some famous places. We'll go back to Dotonbori as a starting point. Khan is saying, hey, hey, that Oshashi Buri. This is actually me typing everyone. <laughs> not knowing I'd actually switch back to Japanese. That's, that's funny. I, I wasn't sure what <laughs> uh, that meant. So I just kind of roughly translated to Hisashi Buri, Hisashi Veri. I don't, I don't even know what that was, but that's a happy discovery. Okay, getting a little bit of water coming down from the, the leaves of the trees. So uh, might have to put up the umbrella uh, depending on where we are. But yeah, it's definitely an overcast, cloudy day. Happy discovery. Okay, so I don't have my notes with me. They're in my bag. But some of the things I want to show you guys here is obviously Dotonbori. Um, what else? We got the Blarney Stone, Shinsaibashi. We've got the Apple Store. We're going to pass by there. Uh, we'll probably hit by the big Uniqlo. Uh, what else? The Shotengai, the covered shopping arcade, which is called Ebisu Suji. Uh, I'm trying to hit up Triangle Park. Let's, let's head to the left. Triangle Park. Don Quixote. Yes, Michael, thank you for reminding me about that. Definitely Don Quixote. Probably walk down, you know, strips of this place. Can I make the light? Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All right. Yeah, it is donkey. It's the kind of, what should we call it? The uh, shortcut version of it. All right, so I'm going to show you a little bit. I'm going to cut in between in, in these side streets because these are way more interesting. Got a lot more lights and more textures and stuff. So had I gone right, I would have just gone along Nagahori Bashi Suji. But uh, if you go along these side streets, you can just get lost in these side streets for days with restaurants and izakayas and shops and uh like i haven't i don't usually go out to shinsaibashi that much unless i was gigging like usually at the there's just so much to explore here i know one of my good friends matt matt empire he he uh knows this area way more than i do but i wonder if he even knows how much interesting stuff there is out here and stuff changes all the time so yeah cool little uh yakitori place unfortunately it's kind of uh closed uh khan says there's a shop in my neighborhood called don quixote yeah i think uh, well, well we'll pass by you tell me if it's the same one but if it's the discount well, shop that's well. kind of yellow and black uh that should be the one and it's usually cram packed full of stuff a lot of touristy stuff but just like kind of general stuff you can get anything there it's kind of like a if the owner of walmart was a hoarder like they would hoard things that's what it would look like basically with a j not a x oh i see i wonder if it is the same chain or not okay on the left here you'll see this big wall of red and white that actually spells out Uniqlo uh, in English. U. Oh, I think it's changing now. And then it changed to the katakana. Its top is U Unikuro. Top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right. Unikuro. And this is the big Uniqlo. Never seen these curtains down like this. And actually, it's my first time to really notice this red and white wall. Interesting. It's a small shop, huh, Khan? All right, so this is like the main strip. Yep, Shinsai Bashi Suji. Did I say Ibisu Suji? Ibisu Suji might be um, more down at Dotonbori. Yeah, but we're heading to the left here. And what's going on with Uniqlo? Oh, looks like they're, are they temporary closed? Okay, you know, 2021, September, Uniqlo Shinsai Bashi will re open okay so they're kind of ah that's it's under renewal they're being they're renovating okay so i am going to go through the shotengai which we're right here now 
and uh, it looks busy, but this is a lot less busy than usual. So, oh, old, old books. What? Is that a picture book worth 250 US? Ni Mongol San? Some Mongol San for these. These are really ancient books. Holy crap. Wow. That's something you can't buy off of Amazon. Sure. Got a Dai Koku Dai Koku Dai Koku Des in drugs. And they have a 100 yen shop on the top. I'll just walk through and show you guys. If there's something interesting, I will pan to it. If you guys see something interesting that you want to see, do shout it out. I am checking the chat from time to time. Tiffany's on the right. Drugs on the left. <laughs> Pharmacy on the left. Sketchers. Two police guys with umbrellas on the right. I've seen um, Lemmy from Tokyo be a bit uh, worried if, uh, well, well, she's been at different locations and maybe one near the Olympics and she's afraid of the police kind of stopping her for streaming, but I don't know. Maybe I'll just play the Gaijin card uh, if, it, if it comes to it. Oh, Pari Miki. Now, I've actually performed, not at this location, but the owner is really cool. You can see that's a drum set at the top there. And the, all the Perimikis I know of, maybe in the ones in Kansai, their second floors are renovated into basically live music stages. <laughs> and they won't charge you for playing there. So they're free. You can go there and free, but you can't even charge for drinks. They just want people to use the space. How cool is that? So yeah, I've performed there with a band and a cappella before. Going to the chat. Um, Michael's like, that's definitely a lot busy. Yeah, if you've been to Japan, you can tell this is not busy. Uh, for a, what is it, Thursday night. Um, it is a weekday, but, and it is a long. I have seen more people traveling uh, just yesterday when I was at Shinosaka Station, but mm, this is not that busy. However, Obon is usually not that busy since people mainly go home to visit their families and relatives, uh, usually their grandparents in the countryside or something like that. Um, I think there's a, Kaiten Zushi place around. Yeah, I haven't checked it out. Um, since the pandemic, has there been more or less people sleeping rough? Has there been more or less people sleeping rough? Um, what do you mean? Like people sleeping out in the streets? Is that what you meant? Or, or not getting enough sleep? Can you clarify a little bit, Michael, there? I wasn't sure exactly what you meant by that. I do see a lot of um, uh, homeless people, right, right. Um, honestly, I don't know. I, I don't think I can say that for sure, but I will say this. Um, the, when I was riding my bicycle into Umeda for work, when I was still working there, um, the homeless that were kind of situated at the foot of one of the bridges they were gone and I think they were kind of moved or taken care of and that bridge is actually no longer accessible so maybe that's why I don't know but honestly I haven't been noticing a big change since I really haven't been going out to these type of places where I'd see homeless yeah there's some, did you see a lot of people with cardboards uh, just on the stream I mean I, I'm sure there still are but I just don't know if there's gonna be more or less than usual. We're gonna work our way all the way to Dotonbori and kind of show you how it is at this somewhat peak time. These guys are walking a bit slow. So I'm gonna have to go in front of them. But um, hmm, that's a really good question. I don't know, honestly. Oh, Disney store on the left. Now, the Disney store is strange. It's got everything, but it doesn't have Star Wars. So yeah. I mean, I don't see much of it because Disney does own Star Wars. Come on. Um, they seem to be a lot of guys sleeping with cardboard as forts and stuff. Yeah, I mean, this guy on the left here, I think he's homeless. He looks homeless too, anyways. 
I could be wrong, and I'm really sorry if I'm wrong. But um, yeah, they'll, they are definitely places where they hang out, for sure. Mm. I don't know, how is it back home? That's a really good question once you think about what's happening economically uh, with the pandemic. So this is another store. This is GU. I guess it's Uniqlo and GU. They're also going through a renewal. May the mouse be with you. <laughs> Thanks, Con. Yeah, thank you so much. Oh. Yeah, and the Disney store is shutting down in all of Canada. That's my Mickey Mouse mo voice. Oh, that looks... Every there. Oh, there's uh, my wife's, one of our wife's favorite uh, clothing stores, Sense of Place. You can see it on the right, the top right, with the red letters, Sense of Place. Uh, kind of um, more affordable clothes, mainly for women, sometimes for men as well. El Rodeo. Guys, thank you for checking out the stream um, as I'm walking around here in Shinsaibashi. If you just came on, we just came from the fourth floor, Gallery Popelier, and we're heading towards Dotonbori to check it out. I know it looks really crowded from this point of view, but honestly, on a regular day, pre-corona, this would be super packed, super packed. Now we'll scan the side here. We're going to be walking down a few of those side streets, not all of them, because there's just so many. Uh, the Disney store is shutting down in all of Canada. That's really sad. Does that mean like it's shutting down temporarily or forever? Um, but it's hard, you know. I can see why Uniqlo is taking the time now, maybe when sales are low, to rest and recuperate. Oh, we got all the Tokyo Olympic socks and stuff here. Look at that. I only bought one Tokyo Olympic thing and it was these masks. I bought one mask. And uh, yeah, it's, it was good. I just I needed a new mask and uh, it's a little expensive, but that was the only paraphernalia that I got. Got a Zara on the left. Excelsior Cafe is Japan's answer to Starbucks. It's kind of like a Starbucks clone. Excelsior. Just saw a group of three foreigners on the right. Maybe you heard them, I don't know. Okay, there's Shinsaibashi, Dotonbori. Colorful glory. Lush. Now, is Lush from Canada? They have Lush here. For sure. You can definitely smell it. What is this? Almost looks like, oh, it's Komegi Yakitate Pai. Interesting. All right. So you know you're at the bridge when it opens up and you can see all the lights and the billboards. And yeah, see Osaka people don't wait for it to go green, they just go. So I've been here too long, I'm the same, just like that. Yeah, this is the pickup bridge. I'm already seeing people trying to, uh, scouts trying to pick young cute girls up. Oh, and a uh, girls bar, girls out there with their signs and whatnot. Okay, so this is what it looks like at night. More of a rainy day, but it's actually a really good backdrop for all the lights. So I did bring my nice camera today and maybe after the stream, I'll take a few photos here and there. I need a stay home, stay metal mask. Like I saw Sue Metal from Baby Metal wearing the other. Really don't have any Olympic stuff. Yeah, I don't think it's really that worth it, honestly. The Glico guy is not lit up right yet. Photos. I think this is the better way. Okay, you can see the that kind of long, tall, yellow thing on the left. That is a Ferris wheel. It's not moving. No, it's not moving at the moment. That that is the indicator that that is Don Quixote. Uh, I'm just reading the text here again. Michael, uh, the chat. When you say all of the lights, you can sing it in the tune of Kanye West, "All of the Lights." <laughs> right. Wish I could. Let's take a photo at the same time. Is that possible? Let me just see with this app here. Um, no. Video only mode. Nope, can't take photos with this. I don't think I can. 
the screen. Nope, that's all good. It's all good. I'm going to just uh, flip the camera just to show you. It is my... And uh, yeah, that is the other side of Jotunbori right there. <laughs> so many okonomiyaki shops in one block. Yeah, that's so true. Let's uh, turn it around. Turn it around. But I'm actually thinking today might be a good day to stream here just because there's... I was here meeting those other streamers. I couldn't show you guys around, but that was so cool meeting them. But this time... Filipino. I can, I can kind of hear and feel by their vibe. Okay. Nice. That, that total Filipino vibe. Pikuri donkey, yes. Um, on the right there, the purplish blue, um, there's like that girl in the blue underneath that. That's another Don Quixote that used to be a sports shop. Sport, uh, is it Sportaka is it called. And uh, now it's a Don Quixote. This is the famous one. There's a Glico actually in Vancouver as well. And then on the other side, you'll have the yellow Kanancha, the Ferris wheel with the other Don Quixote. All right, so we're going to come back here a little bit later, um, but there's a lot more to show you. I think that was the crew. Could be Filipino or could be Malaysian or Indonesian, I don't know. It all sounds very similar out here. All right, the big Tsutaya. Uh, this is a picture that... I've been there, actually. Uh, this is the big 2025. The big... This is... Uh, someone on Instagram was asking me, or Facebook asking me, do they still have the big crab here? And yes, they do. This is the... Local people call this Kani Kani, Kani Doraku. So it's basically your crab food shop uh, restaurant. Oh, it's under a little awning. So the rain is not too heavy right now. And get some crab sets. They are not cheap. Ooh, crab sushi. Eight for like 18 bucks. This is uh, kani no miso, which is like basically crab brains. It's really tasty. Maybe it's more of an acquired taste. But um, you're gonna definitely need a reservation here. But I wonder, yeah, they're only open till eight, it seems. Um, what's that crab place? I walked by it so many times, but didn't go to it. This is it. This is like the famous crab restaurant, Kani Doraku. They have them all over in Japan, but this is, like it says Honten. So this is like the original one. So this is uh, the original. Okay, I'm gonna put my umbrella up because it is starting to glob a bit out here now. But yeah, um, Kani Doraku, or locals call it Kani Kani. Uh, seriously, check it out. Okay, here's Bikkuri Donki. This place is famous for its Hamburger, which is basically Salisbury steak. Um, is that L-A-O-X in the background? Um, I don't know. Where did you see that? Uh, yes, it is. Japan Quality Life, L-A-O-X. Um, I've actually never... I, honestly, I, I've never... I don't really hang out in this area that much, so... You tell me if you know what that is. What is L-A-O-X? Japan Quality Life. Is that a Japanese brand? Okay, that, that looks like a homeless guy. He just kind of walked in front of me. Harmless. LAOX Food Market. Yeah. You, you let me know. Is this like all the high grade Asian brands or is looks like Korean stuff here? Good one. Good, good catch on that in the mirror. Awesome. LAOX, but it's called Nayuki is the left side and LAOX food market on the right. So maybe LAOX is a, some sort of lifestyle brand thingy. Um, looks like there's people having drinks in there, having some food. Uh, Nayuki is this food, fruit shop. I guess with like high quality smoothies and stuff. I think there's a guy trying to pick up a, some girls to work. Yeah, he's trying to scout them to work at wherever establishment. But whoa, look at this Osaka Gyoza place. Osaka Osho. Yeah, famous for its gyoza and other Chinese related foods. Oh, nice. Hiyashi Tantam Nem. This is spicy, cold ramen noodles. Mmm, look at that menu. Hey, Tokyo Paul, what's up? 
Yes, I am doing IRL live stream. I'm calling it the live stream on location here, Shin Saibashi. I, I actually tried to call out a few different um, live streamers that I met last time, but unfortunately they're all busy right now. Um, but yeah, no, I'm going solo out here, trying to show you a little bit more. Uh, this one on the right here is one of the famous kind of Osaken, what do you call it, Meibutsu, Osaken souvenirs, famous souvenirs. It's this guy, I forgot what his name is. Like, it's like, uh, what's his name? It's, it's gonna be here somewhere. But it's this guy, basically. He's like the face of Osaka. I'm making you hungry, man. Yes, that's the point. Is it? Kuida ore. Shota? I can't, I can't read that kanji. Shota? Um, but yeah, if I look at that, the Daruma socks. They used to sell Daruma without the eyes. Live stream on location. LOL. That's right. MC Lido LOL. Uh, those are the Dotenbori socks of Maneki Neko. And Osaka Castle sock. I was just there the other day. Haha. <laughs> but yeah, this is um, one of the famous souvenirs, very popular souvenir shops. Maybe I can actually walk in here real quick. Mayo Okaki. Wow, you're using Bitly to track your links. Pretty cool. I haven't used it because I thought it cost money. Nice, nice. I just use Bitly just to make the link a bit um, a bit shorter, that's all. Although, yeah, I found out they do have other analytics that go on with. Kui Horen Intai. That's right. I keep forgetting what his name is. It doesn't... It's written in kanji. Is it... I forgot his name. Tell me if you can read that name. It's the top right kanji. Is it... Otaro? Ota Shota? Osaka Shota. Uh, no, no, it's not that one. Let's see if I can find it. It's not written in English. Let's see what it says. Ida Ore Taro. That's it, Taro. Osaka Taro. It says they're Taro food, so it must be Taro. Yeah. Osaka Taro. I don't know what. Um, his uh, relationship is with Osaka, but he's like one of the famous mascots kind of of, of Osaka. Akure Shinchan with Osaka Castle in the background. So this is a kind of cool shop. You can get like pretty much anything you want uh, when it comes to these kind of gift shop tours. This is a cool one. These are little gacha gachas, but they're a little bit more specialized and they're more for, yeah, he would be creeping in the dark, um, for the region. So I saw a similar one in Kyoto at the Kyoto station. And you get, look, is Osaka Castle, a few other famous things, uh, the takoyaki, uh, Tutenkaku, which is uh, Osaka Tower is uh, blown over. <laughs> uh, you got Dotonbori in the back there on the right. Horai, again, is like famous, um, I think, uh, butaman, buns, and other Chinese type related foods, and kushikatsu. So yeah, 500 yen for one of these. Kui daore taro. Thank you so much, Adam. You're the best. Hey, Adam, nice to see you, dude. Thanks for uh, being on the stream with me. So actually, I, I bought a couple of these from uh, in Kyoto. Horai Gogoichi, yes, it's so cool. Oh, my mask is fogging up my glasses. I want to take my glasses off for a second. But um, yeah, I don't know. I, one of these days, I'll maybe even later today, I don't know, I'll, I'll pick one of these up and open up on stream. But I have so many other things to open up on stream right now. So I want to make sure we get through those first. Um, let's have a quick look. It's a poo poo billy can. <laughs> nice. Um, I, for my photo session today, I brought a few things. Um, there's like nobody in here. Oh, Glico box. Nice. Takoyaki. Ah, yes, this is um, one of the girls on the English camp came up with this guy and he was full of. White glue. <laughs> ah, fueki. Happy ramune. Ah, it was full of glue. We used that to make our um, DIY upcycled paper baskets. So, yeah. Kyo nanji made yatun desu ka? Ah, wakarimashita. Hi, arigatou gozaimasu. Hi, mata onegai shimasu. I just asked what time they were open until, so they said 8. Hachiji Yonjipun, so 8.40. Oh, you can buy like ramen, like with the actual like 
soft noodles. Oh, that looks like Osaka black ramen. That looks cool. Um, I'm more interested in opening that little uh, 500 yen thing for you guys, but you guys let me know. Let's, let's use more of our time to explore around right now. We are starting to get into a little bit more of the deeper stuff. Of, of course, the gacha gacha machines. Um, laying in bed and tuned in, Adam. Yes, that's the best way. Um, I wonder if you'll pass out on my stream or if we'll keep you going. <laughs> uh, what is this? Tsuruha drugs. I think at one point you're going to have like a Don Quixote on one side and another Don Quixote on the other side. Oh, I just want to show you the game centers here. So some of them are still kicking and uh, this isn't one I would play. But I was here with Chica. Oh, this is like a similar one to this. Chica recently. And uh, yeah, we've, we've spent about 25 bucks. Uh, Right, right, right. Good, uh, good idea, um, Tokyo Paul, slowing the camera down. I was just a bit concerned because uh, they were kind of eyeing me in that store, so I didn't want to kind of let them know that I was live streaming because I was like the only one there. So I will keep consider that in the future um, if they're a bit more friendly with that. But yeah, I will definitely slow it down. Here's another omiyage shop on the right. Tsuribori Fishing Pond on the left. Um, Gyukaku, yes. Uh, oh, Yakiniku, baby. Are you getting hungry? Getting all of you hungry. And I bet you there's not many people inside. Yeah. Wow. I hardly go to this part of Dotonbori, honestly. Okay, so I'll try that slow down your roll thing. Okay, I just heard some Thai, that group passing by. Let's see what the Osaka gacha gachas have for store. Oh, okay, it's the same one as in that, uh, in that one. <laughs> Chika is messaging me, she said, I ate yakiniku for dinner, how nice. Oh, and they have the liver. Okay, so this one's actually from Kyoto. So this is the one I was talking about, but and maybe not exactly the same one because I had stuff that had stuff coming from Arashiyama and whatnot. This is a Shinkansen one. What else is here? Osaka season two. Um, so I got a few more things going on there. Yeah, so the repeat of, of those. Oh, is that the ramune? They got ramune on cooled tap. And this is, okay, you guys try to remember this. This is a biriken. And um, yeah, they look so nice, don't they? And that's actually from America, if you can imagine that. There is a connection to America. And uh, yeah, see the staff is here, so I don't want to linger on too much. And I brought something that lo looks kind of a biriken today. Oh, more kani kani. And wow, that is creepy. That's like the game of crab, thrones of crab. What is that? <laughs> Another kind of kind of place, Tabehodai, about 50 bucks, all you can eat. But um, the Biriken is this god of things. What is it? The god of what things may be or something like that. It's like a good luck charm kind of thing. But it's actually made from in America, got its way to Japan and found its home in Osaka. There's like a, check, check out a Billy Ken, B-I-L-I-K-E-N. There's a, a university in America that uses it as their mascot. Kushigatsu, Kushigatsu Daruma, okay. So actually this is a really famous place. The original one is in um, Shinsekai. And uh, <laughs> I've never seen this guy's face. We're actually going up the nose shot. How, how uh, embarrassing. Oh my God, and there's like a big sushi hanging out from the right hand. And I think, I guess that's the same guy. Same shop, yeah, Shikatsu. And uh, crab, 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 crab. The way things should be, or something like that. Yeah, exactly. And uh, mm, I can just smell that. Kushikatsu is deep fried skewers, basically. And uh, you can order them, usually all you can eat. The one I would suggest to go if you have time is in Shinsekai, near Tsutenkaku, near Osaka Tower. And that's the original one, but there is another one in Shin Osaka Station. Uh, if you don't have time, Shin Osaka has actually got a lot of things all in one place. So if you don't have time to go out there, they've got a takoyaki place, takoyaki, uh, another 
Real Takoyaki place on the left. Eight balls for five bucks. Nice. And uh, so I'm going to just keep going here just for time. There's so much to show you. Oh, and this is the Dragon Ramen shop. But um, yeah, Shinosaka. Um, it's going to be raining pretty hard for the next week or so. So I don't know if I can do too many of these outdoor streams because it'll be raining pretty hard. But Shinosaka Station is just up my alley. So uh, yeah, I might show you a tour of that and all the shops that they have here. Ramen, you can see that? Wow. I mean, this is such a cool place to take photos at night too because of all the um, neon lights. Okay, I'm gonna take it down, uh, my umbrella down, just because it's uh, not raining as far. But you can see that dragon. The tail is like coming out of the uh, side there. Let me look at the chat. Haha, these are so nice, nostalgic. Yeah, same in Tokyo. Nice that you caught, just caught this. Yeah, you're doing great. Thanks, bro. Whoa. And we have this little ramen okocho, ramen alley, I think. Oh, how cool is that? That's a picture in itself. Okay, let me just show you the full dragon thing. There's another Billy Ken on the left. This, what I feel is uh, more like Osaka. Um, and then a new thing that I've seen recently is, I think it's coming from Korea, is Nene Chicken. And it's got these different names. Um, do you guys have that in Vancouver? It's really spicy, really tasty chicken. It's kind of like if Korea and KFC had uh, a love child. Oh, that was good. Chica and I actually had some last time we were in Kyoto. Um, we uh, ordered in with Uber Eats for our first time and it was so good actually. Nene chicken. I know a lot of uh, Korean streamers do a bak, what was it? Mambak? Bak? Bakmul? I forgot what it's called, but they stream while they're eating it on, on, the, on stream. Nene chicken. I want you, Mark. I want you, Nene chicken. I want you. Okay. Okay, let's look at the dragon and let's go into that little okocho. Yeah, this is, oh my god, I can smell all of the um, food. And it looks like there's a policeman on the left there. So again, I want, don't want to be too conspicuous. UFO chicken? Oh, hold on, where are we going? <laughs> BD Ken, haven't, haha, haven't seen that in a while. Korean culture is so strong in Japan. Yes, for sure. Mukbang, that's what it's called, yes. Uh, I don't know what that is, but I've heard of it. Mukbang is basically ASMR food streaming. Um, so like, yeah, these little skinny Korean streamers are eating like bowls and bowls of either handmade or ordered food and it just makes you want to eat. Um, yeah, it's, it's a thing for sure. Yeah, so this is where you sit usually on the outside. And uh, yeah, all these like tea time mat seats and get your, get your ramen on. Let us go. Let me center my camera here. Boop, boop. All right, sorry about that. I want to go actually in here and give you, wow. Let's see what this looks like. Kamakura soup with noodles. Yes, they also have this. So on the right would be another ramen shop. On my very end here is Kamakura noodles, soup with noodles. And uh, yeah, I've eaten there after a hard night of partying here in Shinsaibashi before. They have another one of these in Shinosaka right now. Um, oh, thanks, dude. So that's what the is ASMR food streams. Yeah, I think it might have originally ASMR. There's a whole bunch of different stuff in that variety genre. Wow, okay. I'm maybe come what I was. There's so much to see. Honestly, I feel like I'm a tourist in my own city because I hardly come here. So I'm going to go back. Uh, and get, take you through more. I mean, wow, I'm just in explore mode now, guys. This is nuts. Thanks for being on with me. Okay, so we're back at the Dragon Ramen place. You can see his head. <sighs> All right, and I'll take you kind of to the end and then we'll stick to the um, fun bits. Say hi to Mr. BD Ken one more time. Shoo. And there is another Kani Doraku Kura. What's going on here? Yeah. All right, yeah, the police guy on, here, I'll just turn it backwards. The police guy was actually looking for people who are uh, both, I think two people riding on a bicycle or people have to get off their bicycle when they go onto that bridge. So that's what that policeman was looking for. Not, not for streamers like me, hopefully not. Um, Cosmos discount. Kurazushi, hey Paul. Does that look familiar? <laughs> I'm still working on our thing, so just give me a little bit more time, dude. 
uh, there's another Kurazushi. So if you guys don't know, uh, Paul just put out a video of when we went to Kurazushi there in Asakusa in Tokyo. And wow, haven't been to this one. I have no idea where it is. It's probably on the second floor or somewhere. Some satiated people just came out of Kurazushi. So Kurazushi is one of the coolest kaiten or what do you call it? Conveyor belt rotating sushi place. Oh, is it doing good? Awesome, awesome. It's broke the 100. There's another LAOX. How do you pronounce that? Laux? Um, but I'm so glad to know that it's going to go. It's a little manekineki, manekineko. Miyu Kisu, Japan free. I think it's another drug shop, drugstore shop. Let me show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's look at that huge sign. Take your time, take your time. I know there's just so much I want to show you here. That's nuts. All right. I don't know if I can do this. I can do this with the other app. No. Um, what I could do is I can follow focus on like uh, an item or a face. <clears throat> oh, you mean take my time with uh, the, the video editing. Thanks, dude, I appreciate it. Just wanna do a good job, you know? Okay, so you can see that this street is starting to thin out a bit. So we're getting more on the edge of this busy part. <clears throat> we will probably head, head on back and show you even more and more. There's like so much more to show you here, guys. Another Dragon, Ra dragon Ramen, Kindu Ramen. But yeah, I think, ooh, vending machines. Oh, and there's where you'd eat the ramen. Interesting, not so many people there right now. Um, unfortunately or fortunately, I don't know, I ate, um, I ate dinner already, so. Look at this cool vending machine. Look at the, this is total Osaka. Evian, nice. Our 30 years of love with Japan. Sanju nen ijo nihon, ijo nihon ni aishiteimasu. You've got the Dharma, Takoyaki, Osaka e Yokoso, and Osaka Castle. Cool, dude. What a cool pattern. Nice. I don't usually drink Evian, but I like that. You get that sometimes, like custom, uh, vending machines. I think I saw a few in Kyoto. All right. Mm. Normally, this whole place would be bustling. Um, but unfortunately, it is Corona. So it is a weird, weird time for you. Or vivid detail what it looks like. All right. Yeah, and I think that little sign at the end, I actually have never been this far. <laughs> so I'm exploring with you guys. Um, yeah. We're getting closer to the edge. This looks more like an actual Chinese restaurant, a uh, Chinese food shop that I would see in uh, Vancouver, in Ch Chinatown. Hinata. Izakaya, or just standing bar. Okay, you can see, oh, this is the, more the Love Hotel district. And not as busy, for sure. Chukaryori, Chinese cuisine. Okay, so we're kind of heading into more of the Chinese restaurant territory. Begging your pardon, I'm currently eating in your ear, this metal ASMR. <laughs> I hope you're not eating in my ear. Oh. I think she's trying to take some cool photos bags. Dotonbori Museum Nami Nami Kiza. Got some no masks and kabuki masks. What is this? Oh, this is a theater place. <laughs> they do rakugo and other um, things. Let me just show you that. Wow, cool. I love Japanese uh, like those Komon, is that what they're called? Like those clan emblems. They're just so artistic, I just love them. That one's like the top there on the, the balcony. It's a red, it's a bamboo. That's pretty cool. But yeah, this is the end of this area. I think, uh, what are they doing? I think they're just doing photos over here. I'm trying to do nice photos. Um, but that's the end of Dotonbori Street. And actually, I'll show you the very end. I think that takes you more towards Nipponbashi. And then we're going to do a U-turn and head back into the more busy spots. So you can kind of get the, the full spectrum. Thank you for um, checking out the stream con while you're eating, while I'm, I'm 
ASMRing in your ear. <laughs> so we're doing a kind of remote mukbang. Um, Tokyo Paul 360s. I love Come On too. I was thinking of making it my logo. Yes. Actually, I already kind of made one. Um, uh, it's on my little Insta360 Go. I got a custom sticker for it. But um, yeah, what street is this? This is not Yotsubashi. I forgot what the name of the street is, but there was like one Salmon Dave around here, but it got closed down. Salmon Dave was like the big meat market nightclub back in the day. I was young and single, would sometimes go out there, you know, on weekends and stuff. I like the place to be bumping right until 5 a.m. Okay, now here's the crazy thing. I don't know if you guys heard the news, but oh, how cool is that? That is a photo. Okay, I'm gonna I just hold up here for a second and let you guys enjoy the sirens blazing in the background. Oh, this is what I mean. And I forgot my tripod today, so I'll go handheld, probably after the stream, do a few more clips and stuff here before heading home. Oh. Fire. Ooh, I can hear the, feel the bridge undulating as that went by. Yeah, this is so picturesque. Guys, it's time to get your screenshots in. Uh, screenshot time, send it to me on Messenger or something. Uh, yeah, man, because uh, this could be, if I get a good one, this could be uh, the next thumbnail <laughs> for an upcoming video for sure. Uh, yeah, I've been uh, getting thumbnails off of unsplash.com and I really have to attribute Hey Andrew, what's up man? Thanks for joining the stream, dude. I'm in uh, Dotonbori Shinsaibashi doing the live streaming on location. Now, I have a bit of sad news. Recently in Japan, I think maybe in most parts of the world, there have been more crazy, crazy things going on just because of coronavirus and everyone cooped up inside. Uh, recently, a, a, two foreigners were having a scuffle here on Dotonbori. Um, that's why I kind of don't want to sit around here and have a drink after. Um, Last time Chika and I were here, there were a lot of um, groups of foreigners just kind of having drinks by the river. But um, recently, I think in the last week, a fight broke out between two of them. And one of them looked like a Japanese businessman, but he wasn't. He was supposedly Vietnamese. And he got his head stomped in. Like the videos they found on the net are like very visual. And he, he kicked him in the river and he died. So I'm just like, what? Uh, don't worry, Khan, if you don't know how to do it, it's all good. Maybe someone else can do it. Um, or uh, next time I'll teach you how to do it. Um, but uh, yeah, so I don't want to kind of hang out here by myself. I was going to bring some protection. No, not a gun or anything. Uh, but no, I was just going to maybe take some photos and then chill out. Maybe either in Triangle Park, because there's like a Koban. There's a, uh, what you call it, a police box right by there. <laughs> Sometimes the police are there. Um, maybe I'll do, have a beer there before going home. Kobe beef on the right. There's like a little red sign there. But yeah, this is kind of the end of the popular part of Dotenbori. And we're going to head back. I want to show you the busier areas while it's still lit and active. Uh, again, most things are going to be closing up around 8 p.m. So it would be interesting to see the change uh, before and after 8 p.m. as well. But... Uh, yeah, it's kind of a yeah scary time. This is not very usual in Japan. And there's another thing, Paul 360, you might have heard this. Oh, all right, Andrew, I think he's sending me a, a screenshot. So thank you. Another Kani Kani. I think there's like one more in the middle there too. So uh, knife stabbing in Tokyo in the subway or something. The guy was targeting like women because he was going through emotional pains, relationship pains. I was just crazy. He was even thinking of bombing Shinjuku or Shibuya. That's nuts. Yeah, nice giant crab, huh? Yeah, you want to eat crabs. You don't want to get crabs. <laughs> We're going back to the Dotenbori Museum, Nami Kiza. Let's see. This is a. I don't think they're Japanese either. Um, Uh, street lights three, uh, three in a row there. So we're gonna go down one more block and we'll head left and uh, take you through a more busier part. Wow, I had no idea there was like a Chinese food store there. That's kind of cool, huh? Uh, yeah, it was on the news. It's crazy, huh? All 
All right. So this part of Dotemori is totally, totally quiet. But um, let's see as we get back into the Shotengai, the covered shopping arcade. Cave Cafe, Kabe Cafe. This is an interesting cave cafe on the right. Let me see if I can show you that lovely mall. Oh, K Cafe is Kabe. It's always lovely Kabe. So it's all Korean products. Oh, and that place looks like it's closing up, unfortunately. Oh. Um, let me just put the gimbal down just for a second while I tighten up the umbrella here. Now, I forgot my really nice uh, stand. So this one is flimsy and I think it's going to fall over. It's probably going to fall over. <laughs> okay, maybe not. All right, let's keep it that way. This is not sturdy at all. I'm just going to close this up. Yep. Ah, I thought I came prepared. Uh, he's like, that's why I live in Kobe. Yeah, with all the Yakuza's there, right? The, uh, what's it called? I forgot what the clan is called out there. Sh not the Shimizu clan, it's a, a different clan. Oh my god, look at the Pokemon. Jihankis. What? Andrew, where I live is your rival. Omi beef, right, right, that's right. Look at that. Huh. I wonder if they sell uh, Pikachu drinks. I doubt it. This is just a Pokemon one. This is by Ito Wen. Pikachu, yes. They keep the city safe, that's right. I forgot what the, the clan was called. Something Gumi. Gumi means clan. Um, I remember a long time ago, like, uh, one of these companies was like Ito Wen did a uh, collaboration with Niantic and Niantic is actually what made uh, Pokemon Go possible and so they had like some things going on with the game here so it makes sense that an Ito Wen vending machine would be uh, collaborating with uh, with Pokemon since they're basically the same company um, Shinsengumi, it might be Shinsengumi, I think there's another word um, I don't know, someone Google it, like big Yakuza clans in Kobe, because their headquarters is located very close to Sanomia, I heard. Oh, another po Pokemon, Pokemon, so 200 yen for these little cute little guys. I'd want to get the Pikachu one. I don't know about you guys. Oh, and the Disney heroine doll stories, Capybara, Capybara. And these are not, uh, oh yeah, it says Disney princess. So I guess it is with Disney. All right. Yes, and last thing, these suzume, these um, sparrows. Seriously, sparrows are everywhere in Japan. So those um, Pokemon Go uh, Pidgeys are everywhere. Yamaguchi, that's it, Yamaguchi clan. Thank you, um, Andrew. Yes, it's the Yamaguchi clan. Yes, they are showing you the way. Okay, we're gonna, just going to fly by these um, gacha gachas. But on the left, oh, talk about Kamo. Come on. Come on, street spa beauty up there. Oh, wow. I've never seen the huge UFO catcher games like right here. They've got like little plastic things to uh, cover them. What is this? Omikuji? Oh my god, this looks like the. the have you seen that movie with Tom Hanks called Big? And he, he bought a fortune out of that. I gotta buy a fortune. Like this looks like the Japanese version. That looks really scary. She looks like Sadako or something. Um, Khan's like the Shinsengumi were the group loyal to the emperor at the end of the Showa period. Kind of like law enforcers with no rules. Dozo. <laughs> Some guys uh, looking at the Omikuji there. What? Okay, that's not a swastika. It looks like it, but it's not. Can you guys tell me what that is? That's not a swastika, even though the colors may make it look like it. Holy fucking hornets. Yeah, you think Kurazuchi looks like common? Yeah, definitely. There are a lot of um, shop logos that do look like common. There's this one that I pass by here all the time and I love looking at it. Okay, got the Uber Eats guy going through. Hello to the rodeo. The Ro D O. Um, 
Okay, let's see. Yeah. <laughs> mm, maybe I'll get that omikushi later, but that looks totally sketch. Now, another thing you'll find, uh, I think, more accessible here is graffiti. And graffiti actually makes a really good backdrop for photo shoots, just to let you know. There is some in Tokyo in the downtown core, but more in Osaka, I would say. Uh, Buddhist symbol has the things going the opposite direction. Thank the swastika, that's right. You got it, you got it. Um, yeah, that's why a lot of people think, hey, why is this, why is this swastika at the temple? No, no, the, the Nazis perverted that symbol. Okay, that izakaya is bustling, for sure. Got a little mama son on the left trying to get people into her place, maybe. Oh, that's a really cool shutter. Look at that. Shiba Inu says, uh, Komen Khan, no worries. Yeah. Okay, so again, a more bustling street that is a bit more dark. Uh, the iPhone makes it look uh, lighter. And party every day. I, <laughs> uh, I want to rock and roll. Tobacco Cafe South Wind. It has like a dog on it. I don't know if it's a dog cafe though. Oh, cute. Sakuracafe.net. These would be really nice cafes to go with on a date with your significant other if they were open. Um, prefer not to spell that out fully. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's not the, not the swastika you've been looking for. It's the I Am Hotel. Like, I Am. Oh, and a little shrine here. Cool, cool. The Jizo. Awesome. Yes, you notice the iPhone makes lights too bright. Maybe um, in settings we can go in and the pro settings turn, um, turn down the ISO, but yeah, I don't wanna mess with them too much right now, I think before the stream, but I'm, I'm fine with that. It gives you guys a little bit more detail, right? Kind of like the, icons, like, kind of like the Satanist perverted, the Petrine cross, upside down uh, Christian cross, yeah. Kind of. Another Kushikatsu place. Mmm, what is that? Oh, again, there's a, another form of Billy Ken. He's a little more white, doesn't have any gold in his life. What is Motsunabe? This is a good um, one. Motsunabe is a type of nabemono in Japanese cuisine, which is made from beef intestines. It is a popular stew made with guts, portions of beef, prepared in a conventional ki cook kitchen cooking pot or a special clay pot. When it is cooked, it is filled with soup, prepared beef intestines, and boiled for a while. Cabbage and garlic chives are added. The base soup is usually soy sauce with garlic, and chili pepper. Noodles are often put into the pot and boiled to complete the dish. The offal? Offal used in motsunabe. I don't know what offal is. Is that a real word? It's mostly beef intestines, but various kinds of offal? Offal. Uh, I don't know what that is. I don't, I've never seen that word and that might be wrong. Um, okay, you guys are still talking about that symbol. Uh, and the word and the kanji came thousands of years before its bad meaning. Yeah, I think it was a twisted version of that. 900 yen for motsunabe. I know the guys, it sounds bad, like guts and stuff, but actually the guts is where a lot of the nutritious fats and stuff are. So motsunabe, if you haven't tried it, it's quite mm, chewy. Um, if you're into like beef tripe and that kind of things. Awful is another word for the organs, etc. Thank you. Um, that's awfully kind of you. Uh, <laughs> Marufuku. I'm a little old looking coffee shop, very antique looking. Yeah, there are a few people in there, huh. All right, we're getting close to, what street is this? See, it's been so long since I've been here. I used to know all the names of the streets, but I think we're getting closer to Namba now. If I went even further, I would be basically close to Denden Den Town. Ah, think of Dinuguan that uses the offals of pork. Yeah, um, when my parents told me it was uh, chocolate, it wasn't so awful. Oh, and then we got ten, is that tenen? Tenen taiyaki. Taiyaki is uh, azuki red beans inside this casing. Uh, and it's a sweet, and they have little different versions of it. Okay, so I am, yes, there's a big camera across the street here. Yes, Tokyo Paul, this is Namba, you can handle liver, raw liver. They eat a lot of raw liver in Japan, more than cooked liver, it seems. Um, but yeah, it would be interesting to go down to 
Nippon Bashi at this time, I'm sure it would be busy. I mean, not so busy with just the girls. And there's a girl over there dressed in a quasi China dress, kind of um, another izakaya, kind of showing you the girls' bar route. I found a guy with a Superman shirt in blue. Not raw liver. Yeah, we're basically headed into Nanban Senichimaya. This is Senichimaya Sen. Senichimaya Dori. Another, um, another line, the pink subway line here in Osaka. And um, I remember there used to be a really good ramen shop here that had its fukemen. So the broth is set on the side and you would dip the noodles in there. Oh, is that the, the big camera where you bought your, your Sony camera, your A7C? Nice. Oh, it's all the, the CD massage girls bar establishments on the right. There are all you men, you can go check that out if you want. But not you married men, come on. Again, look at, I just, I, I'm, this is to me, this is what Osaka feels like. It's just all this graffiti and stickers and kind of just randomness, but making it work. Ramen shop on the right. Let's see if anyone's actually in there. Uh, looks like they might be starting to close up. You can feel the hot, uh, the heat of the exhaust fans. But what a cool, cool little place, just not tucked in here. The red building on the right. Um, my liver can't handle me. Time for another chew high. <laughs> Good luck with your second round. What is this? Ajiyong. Komo Yoshiku. Yakiniku. This is a yakiniku place. So that was the red building. Um, yeah, and this is where basically that Shoten guy turns into Senichimaya. If we went all the way back down here, we get to the Kanikani. I can actually see the Kanikani at the very, very end there. Um, let's see. I'm gonna cross the street. I'll show you a little bit of this while the light is turning red, and then we'll visit uh, Andrew's camera's birthplace. Well, it wasn't born there. Um, his camera shop, where he bought his nice workhorse camera. Andrew, how are you liking your camera? You're doing amazing photos and videos with it. Thank you for uh, taking so many awesome photos on the last English camp. Dude, you made uh, everybody look so good. Akan <laughs> tare. So that's a Japanese play on words. Akan. No, like Schneider. Akan tare. Akan tare. It's like a, a play on words off of like Momotaro or something like that. Um, okay, I can hear there's, there's more stuff there, but we basically saw that area. We're gonna head back now to see if we can catch the light in time. Yeah. Akantare. Will I be able to make the light? Who, who thinks yes? Yes, say Y. Who thinks no? Say N. Am I gonna make that light? Y or N? Tokyo Paul's like, I miss the winter lights around here on the ceiling. Ah. Okay, if you haven't said yes or no, you're too late. It's a no. It's a no. Now here's the thing with live streaming. If I don't have a, like a watch or anything, I do have my other uh, older iPhone, the one I used before upgrading. That could be my watch, but I have no idea what time it is now. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, the winter lights on the ceiling there. I'll have to go check that out again in winter. You mean like in the Shoten guy here, like above that? Do they put up Christmas lights and stuff? I know places in Umeda where they just have the Christmas lights on all the time. There's a Sushiro, Paul, that's your jam. It's on the opposite side there, in the big um, Senichimai sign on the left. Yeah, Apple Watch helps a lot of times. I forget my watch. Yeah, Christmas lights, nice. Yeah, so pretty. Nice, very romantic. 
I know you guys in Tokyo are freaking out because the uh, weather is getting into like the 34, 35. Man, that's like typical Osaka summer weather. So we're more used to that. It's, it, for us, what's hot is it gets close to the 40. So 40, and we're talking about Celsius, right? Um, but today is, you know, this today and tomorrow, I think are actually quite cool. This is a 26-ish. It's not super humid, a little bit of rain. Um, keeping it nice and cool. I sweat all the time anyways, but trying to keep cool here. Let's see if we go, like we can go further and further into Namba. And man, Namba should be its own video on its own, on its, by itself. But we'll see, because we might be close to that uh, AKB48 place that uh, Nomurai uh, wants to see. Oh, someone threw out their black umbrella underneath the, the bridge. Under the bridge I'm gone is where I drew some blood. All right, so a few more people here. Yep, Sushiro. Uh, it's blown out right now, but you can see it. Speak for yourself. I'm from San Diego originally. Any kind of weather is uncomfortable. <laughs> right, right, because San Francisco is so comfortable, right? It looks awesome there. It's like all sunny and mild and just nice. Looks nice. Oh, pachinko, video pachinko, and slots. I'm not into pachinko, luckily. They have it everywhere here. I'm more into like blackjack and poker. I'm more of a poker guy. Oh, cool. This would be a cool uh, shot as well. Um, looks like there's a tsuri, tsuri kani, tsuri yoi. Uh, again, a seafood restaurant on the left. Um, maybe I'll just check that out real quick. Just because the outside of these restaurants looks so in interesting and inviting. Sushiro, did you see it? Yeah, man. That's your jam, right? You just told me. That's your jam. Ooh, this is a very eccentric looking. Is it a man? But he's dressed in a kind of like very lavish kimono. Yeah, I don't see, you guys can see him. He's far off in the distance on the left. Wow. Oh, it's a fishing restaurant. What? Oh, so this is where you actually fish for your food and look how busy it is. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I think, didn't Lemmy have a video doing this or something? I think I've seen other YouTubers do that. But yeah, they have it set up where there's fish tanks, I think in the middle. And that's where you actually fish your food and then they cook it for you. And the whole thing looks like a boat. I can show you that. Oh, you just went there last weekend? Cool fish horns. Uh, yes, Lemmy did make a video. Yeah, look at the bubbles. Look at the bubbles. Nice little bubbles. Where is it in Tokyo, by the way? Um, I've never been to this place before. Let me just show you again. Let's fish. Let's fish. Tsuri Yoshi, is that what it's called? Jumbo Tsuri Bune Tsuri Yoshi. Wow. And upstairs is Capsule Hotel Guest House Wasabi. Bed and Library. Maybe it's upstairs. I'm not sure it would look, look like it would be. Wow, how cool is this if you want to try something totally different? Sorry, no idea where it was. Okay. Oh, and it has the prices. This, like, this one is White Trevely, five yen per gram so that's per gram one fish kuruma ebi prawn uh, is 380 yen for one small one and a extra large one 980 yen hamachi hamachi is the hamachi yellowtail three yen per gram horse mackerel this is uh aji a lot of uh, sushi is made from this <laughs> sushi is made from all of these 880 yen omaru ebi this is a lobster basically 3000 yen i guess you have to fish them all so maybe that's part of the... Oh, puffer fish. Uh, Torafugu. Tiger puffer fish, I guess. It's like 100 bucks, 9,800 yen. Whoa. That is nuts. And then uh, the sea bream, which I would call like red snapper. It's more similar to it. Uh, Thai, right? 2,840 yen. Wow. So you went there? How was it? Would you go there again, Paul? Looks like a cool place. Looks really busy. Yeah. I should go in there and make a video too. 
trying to be, be more plant healthy, but I will eat meat for my job. <laughs> right now I'm trying to get into YouTube, so I will do it for my job, but trying to be more plant healthy. I know it's tough. All right, we passed by your big camera. We might just glance by it on the way back there, Andrew. Okay, there's the rock and roll guy right there. Can you see that? Rock and roll. Rock and roll. Oh, he's coming up behind me. Dude. Okay, we gotta. He, he looks like Khan. He looks like Khan from Revenge of Khan. Like, seriously. That is kind of cool. Uh, I don't want to be. I want to be less conspicuous. There he is. He looks like Khan from the Revenge of Khan. I, I kind of lost him. I uh, lost him. So there was Khan. <laughs> um, there might be another mandarake here. The mandarake I know of is more near um, Sankaku Coin, which is Triangle Park. There might be another mandarake here that I don't know of, though. So you may be completely correct. I think we're getting close to. So, did you guys see that? Khan, did you see the Revenge of Khan look like it? He looks like a character, yeah, that is like... I, just, I swear, he's like an old, old fucking rock star. <laughs> That's what he looked like. Did you see the hair and the get-up? Nice. Alright. Namba Minami Kaido. Cool. Wow, we went all the way into Namba. Um, this is more than I thought. I think we're really close to the AKB thing. I'll just give you a quick look. There's a quick 360 panorama. You're right, a cross between Khan and Yoshi from x -Pan. Yes. Thank you kindly for not screaming my name, banging my name. Khan! <laughs> wow. All right. You can hear some ska in the background. That's pretty cool. Ooh. It's nice noodles. Uber Eats, take out. Those look, oh, that's uh, tukemen. So this is where you have the broth on, in a separate dish and you take your chopsticks and dip it in. And so you can really like immerse and, and kind of feel the broth, taste the broth a little bit more. Looks like a normal night in Osaka. Yeah, with a little less people around, I would say. But um, uh, again, the uh, dragon ramen, takoyakis. So I hope this uh, Doga Yasuji, Dogia Yasuji. This is um, where they sell a lot of kitchen goods. Like uh, my brother Jerome is really into Japanese knives, so that would be a great place to go and get those. Kind of a normal night in Osaka, but um, not as crazy as the numbers are in Japan. Uh, in Tokyo, sorry, that's for sure. I think yes. Is this this is Yoshi Yoshimoto? This is where all the famous comedians are, and they do their shows. And you can see them televised sometimes. Namba Grando. Obon Toku Betsu. I think this is where... I might be wrong, but I think the AKB or NMB 48 place was here too. Another Don Quixote on the right. Saosurodo Senichimae on the left. Oh, the butcher. The butcher. Kokobaichi curry. That's for Frank. He loves that place. I will, might as well go down a bit. There is a cool shop here. Um, wish you got Japanese comedy. That's the only reason I could understand Osaka Ben. I had to watch Yoshinoya, or not Yoshimoto, and kind of understand them. So, in one of these streets is a really cool. Uh, gaming bar owned by a foreigner, um, Graham Henry. And I just saw two foreigners just pop out here. I wonder if they just came from that place. It's called The Hearth, like Hearthstone Hearth. And uh, you know, I always think it's down this street and the, the signage is really bad, but the place is so cool. Um, Andrew, I don't know if you've ever been there. Some people play magic, they have a rooftop. It's on the third floor, it's really hard to find. Uh, yeah. AKB 48, NMB 48, I don't know if you can see that. Um, like, real photos, 
Ah, oh, yes, this is the vending machine. Yes, is it here? I, I have a feeling it used to be here. Or very close to here. Very nice uh, second floor. Yeah, that's where you get those. I, think, I have a feeling this was it, but I don't know if it's still here. So forgive me if the hearth is not here anymore, if I'm down the wrong street, because I always mistake where it is. I can't find the sign. It's so small. Oh, there it is. I found it. Oh, my God. And at the same time, I found a lori. <laughs> lori made. I'm going to actually check out if it's open. Um, hey, Graham is a really good buddy of mine. Hi from Khan. Oh, you know Graham Henry? Awesome. Well, let's go say hi and see if they are open. I hope they don't mind. Yeah, fourth floor, the hearth. Okay, so you go to the Yoshimoto, go down like a block, head right. It's really hard to find. Let's check it out. I don't know if they're still open though. I, I, I don't know, we'll see. Okay, hear voices from there. It's dark up there, so I, I doubt it's open. Okay, gonna have dinner, man, no problem. Oh, it's closed, unfortunately, it says closed. Well, I did find the hearth. All right, later, dude. Thank you for being on the stream with me. Appreciate it. Go down these steps. Con, let me know, how do you know Graham, Henry? He's the redhead beard guy, right? That's interesting, maybe it's a small world. Too bad it's closed though. So, yeah, I guess the landmark would be this little sun place. And look how small the sign is. It's really hard to know. There's no other signage there. So you gotta really know how to find that place. <sighs> Getting a bit hot. Need to maybe sit down a bit and get a quick drink. Uh, I probably will walk towards Oh, nice tepe. Really nice little restaurants here and there. Okay. Oh, this is uh, real estate advertisements. This is where Chica and I have to start looking. Yeah, we're just right at the entrance of Denden Den Town. So we walked all the way from Shinsaibashi to Denden Den Town, basically. I wonder if there's any people going around I think it would be closing up now, but I gotta sit down and just take a drink of water, just wipe off the sweat. Uh, the thing is, I don't know if there is a place to sit down. We'll see. He's the no hair, red hair, beer with the salty note. Yes, we worked on the net program, kind of like Jet for High Schools, only exclusive to Osaka. Wow, that's awesome, dude. He's a cool guy. Yes, he has a salty mouth. He's, I don't know if you play Hearthstone, but he's basically the main bar, like, whole sense. Taito Station, Game Center. I have a feeling that this place is going to be closed at one point if the pandemic doesn't lift soon. Yep, there's the Daiso. Actually, I have to get a kake bowl from Daiso. So Chika, if you're listening, trying to get the kake bowl. There's the famous 50 yen vending machines over there. Maybe I will actually pick up a drink there. Don't know where I can sit in this area. I'm gonna pull a pull an old fucking red light cross. Cause that's the way I roll. <laughs> Sorry guys. Yeah he's amazing. Sadly you don't play games. So no worries. Yeah. The famous 50 yen vending machines. Hachimitsu Lemo, Sprite for 80, a cider. I just want something cool and cold. Ginger ale for 80. Uh, I want to get a 50 yen drink, guys. All the Kautis soda lemon that's sold out. That would have been a good one. Kautis soda lemon. One. The red indicates that it's sold out. There's one more machine. You're my only hope. Oh, the Kautis soda lemon is also also out. The Mikan? That not Mikan cider? That might not be a bad one. Um, anyone in the chat? Okay, let's see what you want me to drink. 
The Mikan Saida. Shinshu. Is that Atsuki Mikan? I can't read that. Onshu Mikan. Wakayama. From Wakayama. Oh, the little cute little Coca Cola's. That's a 50 yen. I already have water. Uh, Hachimitsu lemon. I'm not going to get that. It's, it's too sweet for me. The cider. Um, what else is there? Yeah. Hot lemon. Oh, no, I don't want a hot lemon. Coffee. It's also coffee as well. Okay, and the last one is cocoa. Cocoa. Hmm. All right, I think I'm just gonna get the cider. It's uh, getting hot. Getting hot in here. All your clothes. All right, I'm gonna have to quickly get my change out. Is that a corn drink? Which one are you looking at here? Uh, not sure which. Pump up soda. Corn? I'm not sure which you were, you were looking at there, uh, Con. I'm gonna look quickly look again for the corn drink you were mentioning. I don't think I saw corn. Let me see. Only soda? No, I don't think I saw corn. Honey and lemon? No. It was probably lemon that you saw. Maybe? It's got tropical... Tropical orange. Green dakara. I think I'm just get the cocoa or the cider. No, I don't think I see any corn, man. Sorry, no corn, dude. Alright, let me just get me... Mimone. A hundred yen, hundred yen coin out here. Bring it in. Just gonna get the side Okay. The drink comes out here. Coin comes out there. Fifty yen with the hole. Yep. And then the drink. Side Corn drink. No, I, uh, I've heard of corn tea in like Korean restaurants and stuff. Um, which is actually really nice. I like it. Okay, I'm gonna find a place to sit. So, if I remember, um, that area doesn't have a lot of places to sit. If I go over to the other side, hot corn from here. Ah, yes, yes, I see what you're talking about. I know that one. No, it's a more slim can, and uh, no, it's different. Uh, no, it wasn't the corn drink. I know the one you're talking about, though, for sure. All right, there might be some places to sit here, but you know, it's Corona times now, so they are like limiting where people can sit and stuff as well outside, which I think is ridiculous. Oh, there's those water bottles that Chica likes. Green bowl. Anyways. Smelly figure magnet. Oh, cool. It's like a... Uh, Polar bear, bouldering, swimming, surfing, skateboard, and baseball. Weird. Smelly. I guess that's the brand. I thought they were actually smelly. There's no actual place to... Oh, there are. There are kind of places to sit here. Ah, oh, there we go. There are people like just sitting down. Oh, are they homeless? I don't know. It is very possible that they are homeless. Okay, Michael, so there's your your answer. There's like homeless people and people like dancing and stuff. Yep, he's having his orange drink. Oh, this guy's just meditating on the right. I want to sit down and have my drink. Have my drink. I thought there would actually be seats, but wow, some people are parked here and have their seats. Um, am I gonna be a squatter? <laughs> I have to be a squatter just for a second. 
Okay, don't forget the umbrella. All right. Put the gimbal down so it doesn't fall over. Hopefully that's okay. All right, I just needed to take a short like break to cool down basically. All right. Whew. Hey, hey, hey. Ugh. All right. All right, semi squatting now. I'll open this up. All right. Taking off the mask. Okay, let's turn it around. Hey guys, what's up? We're here in Namba now. Yosh. Still technically in the Shinsaibashi area. Let me see if I can put this down again so it doesn't fall over. There we go. Let's so we'll show you a bit of the action. And uh, yeah, whew. Just got this from the 50 yen uh, vending machine, Jihanki, here in basically we're in Namba slash uh, Denden Town. Denden Town is like the Akihabara of Osaka. Wow, that's a really loud siren. Ambulance, unfortunately. Yeah, dude. Thanks, Khan. Nice shorts. Certifiably metal. <laughs> I'm wearing a lot of black recently, so is black the go-to metal color? Is purple? I don't know. Tell me the metal color code. Or does it have to be, like, metallic? Oh, hold on. My little uh, magnetic pe uh, necklace is clamp clamping on or magnetizing. It's getting stuck to the lavalier uh, metal. Metal piece. It's all about metal. <laughs> Cheers, bro. Cheers, guys. Whatever you're drinking. Whether it's sake or chuhai, or if you're just drinking up the sound of my voice. Oh, the sound of the music in the background. That's not metal, that's hip hop though. Can you, can you hear that in the background? I don't know if you can. I can barely hear it. All the people in the live stream. How you feeling if everybody's fresh and clean? Everybody in your own home. Gonna make it so you get it down and your own. What? What? Oh. It's like Black Street Collapsulations. We're coming to the live on stream relations. Everybody at home elations. Can you get it down with the MC Leto Nation? Uh. <laughs> Just rap style and freestyle for your, all your people on the YouTuber. Uh, can you feel it through the airwaves, internet waves, 4 or 5G? Uh. <laughs> I'm just feeling that beat in the background, guys. I'm just ripping. I'm just ripping. So I'm getting this 50 yen drink from the Jihanki. It's called a a a Asaida. Can you tell me how the bit stream is going? It depends on your internet provider. <laughs> live stream, live stream. MC Lee, live, rip, zip a stream. I just, I hear that beat and my head just wants to go. <laughs> I don't know. Are you guys enjo enjoying the freestyle? Freestyle? I'm not very good at it. I just, I just kind of go crazy sometimes. There's definitely some guys dancing in the background. You can see they, those guys have the music on.
Uh, he's not dancing in my hand anymore. All right. What's going to be on the playlist for after this? If you're just checking in right now, we are in Namba, basically on the outskirts of Namba slash Dendan Den Town. Someone's smoking across the way from me. I don't really like it. So as soon as I get this drunk and down, we're going to be heading out and about. Oot and a boot. All right. And I had some of my notes on the older iPhone. iPhone, iPhone. All right, so I got like a list of places. Oh, Adam, yo, what's up, dude? Giving me the musical props up in the house. Uh, lying on the bed with your head down. Everybody watching the show. It doesn't matter where you're from. Okay. <laughs> Dotenbori Sunset, check. Don Quixote, we kind of passed by it. Triangle Park, not yet. Apple Store, no. Blarney Store, no. Space Station, we kind of all passed by those places. The Takoyaki place, we passed by a few, but there's one that I wanted to show you. Uh, Cafe Absinthe. Capsule Hotel, we kind of passed by one, not the one I want to look at. Mandarake was on my list. Uh, Muji, there's a big Muji uh, if we head back there. Ebisu Shotengai, I think it was the other name, Shizabashi Shotengai. You got the Uniqlo, fourth floor, and the hearth. Okay, cool. So, got a few more places on the stream, but I'm going to be adding Denden Town since we're right by here. I just, I'm just curious. It's after 8 o'clock, and I'm assuming that there are going to be all of the uh, Maid Cafe girls and um, other girls calling people out there. But I've never been like that late in um, Denden Town, so we'll have to see. I'm just kind of curious what happens after hours. Because a lot of those places close up pretty early, but I'm sure they're going to be closed at 8 now. I do have a D&D &D special uh, bundle package to open for you guys on a regular stream. It's going to be raining pretty hard here the next couple of days, so today was like a last day to go out and live stream while it wasn't too hard of a rain. So I'm going to make sure we get some of that action for you. Um, going back to the regular schedules as well with these impromptu live streams. Khan, thank you for checking this out during dinner. I really appreciate it, man. Metal, metal, metal all around. Um, Saturday night, 9 p.m., Monday morning, 9 a.m., still sticking to those two regular ones with little impromptu uh, street streams, lo uh, live streaming on location. Uh, yeah. Ooh. How, can you guys hear that music in the background? Maybe it just sounds like chatter to you. You guys let me know. I don't know if you can see, but across from me, there's this girl that's like totally just um, lowly kawaii rocking up. I don't know if she's traveling or whatnot, but she just rocked up with her suitcase. Looks like she's basically working at one of those maid cafes, but she's probably um, traveling on Obon. We do a quick pan of what else is around here. But yeah, it's like got everything. There's that guy just finished smoking. He's walking out, doing his thing. Those are my shoes. Yeah, and that's what it's looking right over there. All right, that's as far as the demo goes. We go back the opposite way. All right. I was walking by. And then go back to the front cam just for a sec while, yeah. Get those guys dancing in the back. We have in my cider. Got to pass out 4 a.m. here. Peace, dude. Adam, thank you so much. You're a trooper. I appreciate it, man. I hope to see you again soon. Take care. Thank you so much. Oyasumi. Good night, man. I know it's crazy times for people back in Vancouver. I really appreciate you guys. You guys are up watching the stream. Have a good one, man. Sweet dreams. Alright, we're basically finished. I'm gonna be on the road again. Just wanna preview this. So this is the Star Wars looking. Looks like a Billy Ken, it's not, it's Star Wars. What character is this? Let me know in the chat if you know. I was going to 
after the stream, go and take a few more clips and take some awesome photos uh, with this guy as my model. What else do we got going on here? What's in Lito's bag? Oh yeah. You guys don't know who this is. This is another character from the Star Wars universe. He's a bubbler. He's a bubbler. Kind of a bubbler. Beep. 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 Is he bobbling? A little bit. Um, got him. As well as one more for you geeks in the house, like me. Oh, what do you think's in the box? I actually bought this box here in uh, Denden Town. There's like a little used uh, antique furniture shop that sells these for 100 yen. Boop. Hey, hey, hey. What's this? Tell me where this guy's from, if you guys know. I'm gonna take some photos on here. And uh, yeah, I'll maybe add my link to Instagram so you can check out those photos. Uh, you can probably see some of them on Facebook as well if you're my Facebook friend. But do check it out. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh, snap. Now he's all good. He's all good. He's 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 stronger than that. He's a level two. Let me know if you know where this guy's uh, from. Put him back in the takara bako, in the treasure box. Peace out, Adam. Ah. All right. I'm gonna definitely start heading out soon. Yay, Josh, what's up, bro? Hey, how you doing? If you're just joining here, you are joining me on my little break here in um, Namba. I'm in Namba right now. Uh, basically on the cusp of, where is it? The Swiss Hotel and Denden Den Town. It's just after eight, and uh, I was doing the Minami tour for everybody. So good to have you on board, for, even if you're just dropping by for a bit, bro. Um, we walked all the way from uh, Gallery Popelier in Minami Semba through Dotonbori, through the edge there, back into Namba, and now we're basically at um, Den Den Town. So, yeah, gonna head back now, uh, check out Den Den Town, see what it looks like after 8 p.m., and then, yeah, we will see. It's like a, a mother and her daughter, daughter's full dressed. Lolita <laughs> made costume looking girl. That was kind of weird, but whatever. Yeah, man, been a long time, long time since you've been here, right? Or maybe since you've been on my stream. No, you've been on somewhat regularly, so thanks, dude. All right. Oh. Whew. All right, do got to put this. I got this at the 50 yen. Uh, 50 and vending machine, but let's show you what's going on here. All right, some guys just out of Hyogo. Wow. What do you mean? Are you like heading back or something? You, you on the way home? Yeah, this homeless guy's eating his orange with uh, with a spoon. So Michael S had a good question earlier. It's like, have the homeless people? been increasing here in Japan since and uh, I don't know but I don't remember seeing homeless guy sitting there before and again I don't really hang around in this area too much just a few places you know uh, but yeah thanks for joining the stream dude wherever you, you're at just out of Hyogo is that where you're watching from dude nice so you're like where is that like are you still in Osaka but just on the border of Hyogo is that what you mean Right. No, I haven't. I just haven't been out of Hyogo for a long time. I see what you mean. Right, right. So you've just been staying in Hyogo all the time. I see what you mean. By the way, on the left-hand side there is a really nice Shabu Shabu place. Been there with Chika. I think I went there with Frank once. Um, and it's pretty reasonable for lunch. I think it's around 2,000, 2,500 yen. Don't need a... Um, it's, it's a closed one with the white letters. You don't need a reservation, and they have Hagen Dazs ice cream for dessert. Oh yeah. After drinking that cider, I kind of feel like going to the toilet. Okay, we are basically on the corner of Den Den Town now. You can tell by the Taito station. There's a little Sega on the right, and I'm gonna find a place to get rid of this can. Everybody's patiently waiting for the light to 
to uh, change and it's about to change and I'm doing Osaka style and not waiting. <laughs> I'm a bad boy. I'm trying to find a place to actually discard this and it's kind of hard to find them sometimes. All right. This is the street that I usually go down. Um, I don't know why, I just, I just know all the stores that I want to check out here are here. Like Big Magic on the right. Uh, there's that cool little restaurant shop uh, that Chica and I went to last time. If you saw the live stream I did here with her. Um, it would be just on the right, just past this corner. There's these two bakery shops, one on the right, one on the left. Wooden, uh, really good loaves of bread that you have to reserve at the beginning of each day or something. Yeah, and uh, well, it's closed down. With all the cute, pretty lights. You can sit on the second floor there. That's where Chica and I had our puff pastry. Uh, it was really good. Do they still have it? Yeah, well, they have blueberry, Shinto Bang, the blueberry ones. Um, go check this place out. On the left side is where Frank and I did the little crane game. That's uh, a card shop, but they don't have that crane game anymore. It's so sad, but they still do have lots of cards and whatnot. Um, this place is still open. Don't know how late they'll go, but that's interesting. Oh, what's this? This is a new Made Cafe Mascato. Oh my god, they have the big posters of the girls on there. Um, new noodle shop on the right. Didn't know this place before. We've got the, uh, the basically Tenga uh, over 18 shop on the left. Yeah, you know what that's all about. The whole building is dedicated to that. Oh, yeah. And mm -hmm, they do have sometimes. Uh, actresses who come here every once in a while, maybe not right now, but yeah, Tenga shop number. If you're into that stuff, you can, you know, there's so much stuff free on the internet you can find about that. <laughs> um, tons and tons of gacha gachas. Uh, number Big Magic, unfortunately, I think it's closed. Yeah, um, this is a go to magic shop. Um, okay, let's go down the regular route. There's a couple of young girls, maybe they're just getting off the shift or just coming home. Uh, the main cafe is, but I have a feeling it's going to be a ghost town here, honestly. Again, nice little Namco Gacha Gacha area with uh, Namco uh, above karaoke and game center. Yeah, so after eight, man, this place is shut down. Only that one card shop was open. This is Amenity Dream where I usually go get magic singles, but recently I haven't been buying magic cards. So I haven't really been playing paper magic, unfortunately. It's kind of sad in that regard. Okay, it's full. Uh, can I just put it, oh, no. Let's see if there's another one. I'm sure there is. I can hear voices, so maybe there are still girls around. Okay. Good. I did my good deed. Oh, so the maids are still doing their thing, but everything else is closed. I would imagine that they wouldn't be here anymore, but I guess they are. So this is going to be interesting, and I don't care. I've mustered up the courage now. I'm just going to walk by. I'm not going to film this, but it is going on live. So, but everything else is closed. There's more and more girls. You see me with my camera and they're completely shy away and stuff. That's all good. Good steak hamburger place on the left. Okay, wow, this place is like dead. I've never been here after all the card shops and stuff close up. Oh. I mean, cafe with one customer there. What the She said in Japanese, Oh, would you like to come to the shop? And I'm, I was just trying to be nice to her. And I said, Yeah, next time maybe. She's like, Thank you. How polite. Oh, she's all cosplayed up, closing up shop with the gacha gachas. Trading card game center. This place is totally different at night. Mm. Oh my god.
Yeah, all the card shops and stuff are pretty closed, except for that one place. So, we'll have to see. Card <laughs> box. Uh, play space, 132 seats on the second floor. There's still people playing and stuff there. That's not, I mean, what are the main games there? I don't even know these games. Wow, they're definitely not Pokemon or the ones I'm used to. Min Dorso Promocado. Kotobukiya is the place that I get all my high quality Star Wars figures uh, that are not action figures. And I remember coming here with some friends and uh, one friend bought a really nice one of, I think it was Robin or something. Um, I'm just gonna show you, oh, there's a lot of bit of traffic. So it just came up. <laughs> so, okini, so okini means thank you in, oki, in um, Osaka Ben, Osaka dialect. Okini kohi, and uh, thank you coffee what it translates to and I love their shutter just uh, their shutter they also have fresh fruit juice so maybe this is a different place this fruit juice Okini radio no it's the same Okini I've seen that actual um, design Okini like Okini hotel or something I recently took a photo on my way back from Osaka castle so that's really cool so minasan Okini Okini just remember Okini means thank you in, uh, in Osaka, in Kansai. Um, maybe you know the word arigato, but in Osaka it's okini. Oh. The yellow maid looking character coming out. Going back the other way now. Yeah, I will go back around and then head back. Oh, there's like one lonely maid here. I think she was a nice, uh, the one that actually talked to me and I said, see you next time, same made cafe place. So I don't know, again, this is what I like about, oh wow, let me just show you what a made cafe kind of looks like. This is one more for performance. Meido Connect, Connecto. Close it at 11, that's kind of what it looks like inside. So this is the closest I can show you of what it looks like. Inside, we got a softbox. You can take photos of the girls, I guess. Um, Totemo kawaii ni shirui no original maido bang. Interesting. Oh, there's a maid coming out right now. So. She's just starting her shift, so I'll let her go. Oh, she's just closing up. Maybe they saw me on camera or something. Like, we're closing up. Oh, there's that same symbol we saw earlier. And it's, it's like big. Tokyo Gang. Really? Okay, and it's not what you think, guys. We had this conversation earlier. So, that's interesting though. Hmm, so this is so interesting where it's looking darker in my eyes, but the iPhone's making it brighter, uh, which is good for you guys. Crep house melt on the left. The title station. Again, this maid cafe is just closing up. They do have the maid mannequin in the window. But yeah, again, if you've never been to a maid cafe, Nature made. Oh, this is interesting. What does it say? The special secret of making dreams come true can be summarized in four C's. Their curiosity, confidence, courage, and constancy. Huh, that's interesting. And I think that's the same for YouTube. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so this is kind of like the main, one of the main other streets, like this is the edge of uh, Den Den Town. This is where I usually take a break at the McDonald's. Um, there's a curry shop on the right. Uh, Gail used a new shop for video games on my right. Maybe we'll check that out real quick. 
Um, but there are also, also big toy shops that I like checking out there as well. It's like this girl is just getting off her shift or going out to all the guys. <laughs> Even some of the masks and stuff here. Mm -hmm. The first floor is all like, um, all uh, t like uh, phones and stuff. So, yeah, you can buy a TV here. Okay, these are all the new things. Let's just go up real quick. Monster. I have that. Gotta use it more. I know my friend Kevin like broke his. It's interesting. PS4 stuff. PS hard to find here, but the accessories are easy to find. Seven thousand yen. Noisy in here. It's all PS4. Half price. Summer sale. Oh, that's one I've been wanting to play for a while. Oh, Monster Hunter Stories 2 just came out. So, there's been a Monster Hunter uh, movie with Mila Jovovich. Oh, super noisy here. Okay, I'm just going out here. What is this? Otona Game. Games for adults. I mean, not adult games, but you know, not for children because they're more violent. PS3 you can still get here. PS4, lots of uh, used ones. God of War is like 1780. The Surge. What else? Far Cry 5, Far Cry 4. Super cheap. Um, but again, a lot of this stuff you can buy online with apps like Merukari. Um, so yeah. But now the interesting thing is the Nintendo Switch games do not go down in price very much. So you'll of often have them side by side. Okay, so for example, Super Mario World 3D plus Fury World, 5,880 new. And then, does it have the used? Oh, maybe that's too new. Super Smash Brothers, 6,480, and it's on sale now for 5,480. That's used. Hey, Mr. Mr. Ivan M10, Miss, man, I miss Osaka, can't wait to go back. Dude, we can't wait to have you back here. Thanks for uh, joining the stream, man. Um, are you new here? Uh, welcome if you are. And uh, let me know where you're watching from, dude. Um, and nice to meet you. Uh, let's see. So yeah, the, the strange thing is the Nintendo Switch games really keep their value. Um, this particular place doesn't have the new and used prices. I think the new prices are the first floor. I'm on the second floor. But yeah, there's uh, Dobutsu no Mori, which is... Uh, what is it? Uh, Animal Crossing, 4,500. But yeah, you can find some good deals here. Uh, Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, 5,600. I was actually thinking of getting this, either this game, the Skyward Sword remix, I played it a bit on the old Wii that I bought, or this one, which they're both kind of remixes, aren't they? Um, yeah, but if you're, if you're into video games, this is definitely a place. Wow, look at all the accessories and stuff. I'm just gonna, quickly kind of just show you all like all the controllers these are new wow so let me know if you have a switch or you're into games let me know uh, what what games you play there's this Splatoon one Man. and these are old accessories and stuff third floor is comics uh, but I'm gonna go down actually yeah, we're at Denden Den Town right now, and uh, I just came here after eight o'clock, and it was pretty dead. The there were more maids on the street than there are people. Now, the interesting thing about this, the yep, greetings from Los Angeles. You visited Osaka in 2019, loved it. Yes, awesome, and the food is amazing. Yes, the food is totally awesome, isn't it? Now you can go down here to the elevator or the uh, stairs. I'm gonna just take the stairs get some, uh, get away from this noise and don't want to kill the reception on this. Hey man, that's awesome. LA? Cool. Was that your first time to Japan? 
I wonder. Yes, I hope everybody can come back once it opens up. Yeah, and this is like the phone place. iPhone 6s for like less than 2,000 yen, less than 10,000 yen. That's crazy. SIM free. So they're locked into their uh, companies, which are like Docomo, uh, SoftBank, and AU. But yeah, you got Androids as well. Xperia. Wow. Let's give Mr. Ivan a big Lido stream welcome. Hi, Mr. Ivan. Glad to make your acquaintance. Yes, Mr. Ivan. Welcome to the Japan fam. MC Lido uh, live streaming on location here in Osaka. I'm, I'm glad you're loving it, dude. And we'd, I'm going to be doing uh, more of these impromptu live streams uh, more often. But just to let you know, I do stream every Saturday night at 9 p.m. This is all Japan time. And let's go back through the maid street. Saturday night, 9 p.m. And Monday mornings, 9 a.m. And uh, if you... Oh, thank you for subscribing. I just got your message uh, notification now. So check, check those out. Uh, if it's going to be a cloudy or rainy day and I'm not able to go out, I will stream from the MC Lido Den and uh, usually have a more... Uh, kind of almost like a podcast type stream talking everything about Japan tech and technology and tips and tricks to maximize your next trip to Japan but I just unlocked the ability to do these live streams so yeah I've been living in Osaka for the last 18 years dude so if you have any questions or there's anything else you want to see just let me know because that'll give me lots of cool ideas for um, upcoming live streams and videos konbawa All right, so we are at Otaku Road, Ota Road. And this is Denden Den Town, Nipponbashi. Hey, Tony, dude, what's up? Must be super early there. Hold on, a car is coming, as well as an army of maids. Uh, don't want to get hit by them. Uh, wouldn't mind getting hit by the maids, but don't want to get hit by the car. <laughs> um, dude, thank you for joining the stream. Oh, this is a little friendly looking fox Pikachu girl. Oh, they're doing, the, they're doing their hardest to, to really get some customers. Um, but yeah, I've, I've never actually been here after eight. And right now, Osaka, Tokyo, and a lot of major cities are under a state of emergency. So a lot of places, 5.43, 5.34 a.m. mountain time. Dude, you're a trooper. Thank you for joining the stream. Um, are you going to go back to bed after this? Or I hope you can get more sleep, dude. Or are you just an early riser? Um, but yeah, I've never been out here where there are more maids than people on the streets. So that's interesting. Never uh, been here out this, this late. So um, Mr. Ivan's like, that was my second time visiting Japan, but I spent my first trip in Tokyo. I look forward to your streams. Thank you, dude. I really appreciate it. Konbawa. Uh, Alright, just got a chirashi, a flyer from one of the schoolgirl looking maids and she's like, Yokatara morate ne? Um, wow, she actually wrote her name. I don't even know if this is a maid. Otorodo, yume kawa ne chan rifre. So this is kind of, kind of a massage place and what they do is, what I've heard, I've never been to one. Uh, they kind of give you a quasi massage. Wow, there's a cafe and bar sling there. Again, I don't want to uh, put these girls on the stream too much. I want to keep their privacy, obviously. So you got to read the situation, right? And if you get the body language, like they're looking away and not being very friendly, put the camera in their face. Even when I was in Tokyo, a lot of them were quite friendly, but a few of them were just like, no nah, thanks. And they just, whoop. Um, just look look away, right? So got to try to respect people's privacy. I mean, I've seen another live streamer here. He's really popular now in Osaka and he was live streaming. He's Japanese, but he live streams in English. And then some guy tried to approach him and he was just like pretending I, he didn't uh, speak Japanese. I don't know if that happened to me. It's like fight or flight. I, I don't want to really 
get into a fight here in Japan. I don't think it's worth it. But someone came up to me and she's like, hey man, it's like, oh. I'd try to talk them out of it. But after that, I don't know. <laughs> it's kind of scary. So I hope it never comes to that. But I heard, I've seen it happen and some people handle it better. So maybe I should just play the foreigner card and like, oh no, no, I don't, don't speak Japanese <laughs> or something. Maybe that'll get, get me out of it and just keep walking away. I don't know. It's, it's not worth getting to a fight here and getting deported from a country that I've been in for so long and I love. So, but yeah, things are crazy and those things can happen. Let us show you the gacha gachas real quick. But what I'm gonna do, um, since I think it's, what time is it now? Let me just check on the other phone. Oh, did I put that phone back? I hope I did. Hold up a sec here. All right, I'm gonna put the phone on the ground while I figure this out. And you guys can look at the beautiful Tenga shop <laughs> across the way. Yes, that is a over 18 shop. Um, you need permission to go in there if you're under 18. Oh, it's, it's on a bit of the road that's sloping. Hold on. Uh, okay. Let me put it on here. Is it more stable? All right. It's a bit more stable. Just gotta check the time, guys. Give me one second here. But I want to show you other parts of actually Shinsaibashi. I didn't uh, plan on being this far up. So let's see, we're at 8.30. Yeah, maybe go for another half hour hour and show you the other parts of Shinsaibashi that I wanted to show. And then if I have any more strength in me, I got my nice camera, take a few cool pics and maybe video clips on the way back and make a nice video for y'all to see afterwards. Yeah, yeah. But totally appreciate you guys being on this stream with me. Okay, um, let's go. Let's go, let's go. So if you're a Magic the Gathering player, yeah, you definitely wanna um, maybe check out some cards. Pokemon, of course. Uh, I just got the Pokemon stamps, by the way. So I'm gonna be showing that probably on the next regular stream. I'm gonna just have a quick look at the Magic cards here. But yeah, Pokemon here. I don't know if they have the magic cards still. Oh, it's not for use right now. I don't see. Okay. Time Spiral, called higher. I don't see the new D&D ones. Modern Horizons. Oh, there's the new TV ones. They're all in Japanese though. Um, they do sell English, of course. Wow. Delina. Uh, it's interesting, but it's kind of sad that these industries are suffering. I mean, every industry is because of the pandemic, but um, it's, it's too sad that people, you know, can't really get together and play. Um, in person it's just hard so i think we're gonna have to you know to find a new way um these are definitely pokemon cards and i know the back of pokemon cards in japanese backs and english backs are different so hey i have two more packs of pokemon cards that i randomly got whoa look at those that guy's like five thousand yen holy yeah and they used to have the um crane game here that me and frank played but they don't have anymore it's just like a straight up raffle kind of um, random packs uh, that are kind of built together. Wow, and all the Pokemon cards. See, that's what the Pokemon back looks like. Japanese Pokemon back. It is different than the English ones. Wow, look at that energy though. That looks cool. Energy, energy, energy. Oh, these are all Japanese, yep. And this is like the only card place that is open still at this time. So I've got to give them props for keeping open. Oh, COVID-19 just sprayed me hands. All right. But um, again, check out this nice little bakery spot. And uh, hey, man, once things open up, uh, I hope you guys can check out these places that I'm showing you. And uh, who knows, if uh, I get to that point where I'm able to get the time, maybe do a meetup and uh, show you guys around or hang out for a bit. That'll be so cool. 
because uh, I know when my friends visit Kansai, I love showing them around. Right. So yeah. Okay, it is really quiet. So we're gonna start working our way back to that area. And, uh, oh, this is totally dead uh, compared to where it was. Oh, another kurazushi here. This is the 50 yen. Yeah, these are 50 cent, some of them are, 50 yen drink machines. And I got a 50 yen cider just recently. Yeah. Um, there is a shop here, actually, Daiso, that I have to get something at. So maybe we'll see how good they are with me bringing my camera in there. But nobody's said anything bad. So the Daiso is basically like the dollar store in Japan. And it's like the biggest chain. It's a huge Daiso right here. Five floors. And I have to get a kake bowl. Um, let's see if I can. So I'll show you guys a bit of Daiso on me. Okay. Get the step down. All right. I'll go upstairs. Here, stationary, third floor, five floors of... They even sell like plant seeds and stuff. It's crazy. World of fire. So this is definitely copyrighted music. Um, yeah, but this place has got everything you can imagine. Like seriously. Look at this, it's like all Coca-Cola stuff. Um, Daiso is a really good place, especially this one. A lot of cheap touristy goods here. The little, those are for babies and stuff. You hit up the tourists. I don't think you'd want to bring those back home. Evangelion stickers if you're into Evangelion. Um, you can get all sorts of things. Little, you know, these little towels are um, really necessary. I figured out very soon in Japan that it's hot and humid here many of the seasons, so getting a little cool towel, uh, Evangelion or whatever, uh, can, can be a really good idea. I usually have one or two on me. Okay, I'm gonna go up to the third floor. It's going up. Uh, I think there is a place with souvenir stuff. I might have to find it. So what I'm looking for is a kake bowl, which is basically um, a budgeting book. And, you know, it's a budgeting book that allows you to really slow down and check all your finances. It's basically your income and outcome and, and planning. Um, why am I buying a book when I, you know, I have all the digital stuff? I like writing things down. I don't even need a basket. Now in Japan, you're supposed to use a basket to denote that you haven't bought it yet. You're, you're actually shopping for it. Um, <laughs> these fake Lego pieces. Okay, oh my God. Seriously, they got like everything here. It's crazy. And it's usually pretty good stuff. Um, Cheap, yes. Uh, okay, this is the stationary supply area. Um, I used to make stuff, terrain and stuff for Dungeons and Dragons, so I would buy a lot of foam core and stuff from here to uh, make that. They even sell the acrylic paint and whatnot. Um, a really cool gift is the masking tape. Yeah, masking tape is actually like these little decorative masking tapes, you can get them really cheap here at Daiso. Um, they're usually a little bit more expensive. Sometimes they're called washi tape back in North America. So that's a good one. And this is a very small selection for the kake bowl. Okay, just trying not to get people on the stream to get their faces on and stuff. Kakebo. Did I see it? Might be more in a specialized area. Moshi, moshi mo noto. Again, these are just little, like, on individual notes. Everything here is basically 100 yen unless it's it. Now my gifts, I think we're getting there for my future. Actually, that's a cute one. We're getting closer. Uh, jibun, jibun no, 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 no. 
Oh, this is it. This is a kake bowl. I got the piggy bank, obviously. I mean. Oh, and this is for like your health and contacts and stuff. So this is like a diary kind of thing. There you go. Okane no to. I should have seen that with the piggy bank. Uh, Khan saying, I got all my cheap glasses at Daiso, separate from my good glasses. I'm on my six cheap pair. I keep sitting on them. <laughs> like that? <laughs> Michael saying, who are we? 432, 435W. Um, not sure what that means, Michael, what that code is, but I think you might be typing in the wrong stuff. Type it again. This is what I'm looking for. Yes. Kenko no to uchi no kono no to. Wow. Okay, yeah, so maybe on the live stream I'll show you how this goes, but unfortunately it's all written in Japanese. I wasn't really interested in that, but now since I'm kind of going, um, what do you call it, uh, freelance with YouTube and stuff, I'm gonna have to um, have to look at my expenses more. Thank you, guys. Yeah, this is a very simple kake bowl. This is, do they have more? I'm a detailed one. Notoshi. Web ID cards. Let's see. Well, this is good. It doesn't have a more kind of detailed one. Like, I want to write down more stuff in it. So, let's see. Is that the only cut cable they had? Um, let's see. I have a feeling like the one near my house is going to be better. Look, they even like have rounded stuff and I'm, I'm sure this is... Is it legit? Must be, I guess. I don't know. Most of the stuff's made in China, so I'm not sure. Toy Story, looking notes. Cars, Disney. This is a Toy Story. Shitagaki. This is what you write underneath so it looks all nice and clean. <sighs> Hmm. Let me see, I don't see the exact one I'm looking for. That's a very simple one. But maybe it will do the job for now. Uh, maybe for kids and stuff. Oh, there it is. Found it. This is the one I was looking for. Yeah, this is... Should I... Mm, it's not ideal. Family budget. It's not ideal, but it is closer to what I'm looking for. Money account note. Maybe this is it. <laughs> Wow, 80 pages. Very similar. Hmm. So loof, leaf, uh, loose leaf note style. Hmm. Hum, hum, hum. I'm kind of torn. Um, for my future. Again. This is more of a journal. All right. Basically, you buy one of these per month. Yeah, okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get two of these and see. Yeah, see how they work. All right, let's do it. Oh, they're closing in 10 minutes. So, in that case. Right, I'll give you guys a quick, quick one. There's all the washi tapes right there. Shoot. Real quick, I've always wanted to actually show you guys Daiso um, inside here, so let's go up. This is the gardening floor. <laughs> Fake flowers. And what I'm looking for is the souvenir area, which might be on the fifth floor or could be on the first floor. Um, 
no, that's it doesn't look like it fits for his other stuff, I like um, hardware and like tools. So it won't be there. Usually it's on a higher floor, but it could be on the first floor where everybody has to check out and stuff. Yeah, but seriously, Daiso is a pretty good place to get a lot of general things and some specialty things like these uh, money accounting books, budget book. All right. Um, I don't see the touristy things like that. You can even get chips. Um, yeah, I've got a few condiments here. snacks, potato chips. This is a great place to kind of sample uh, things. These will be somewhat comparable to the prices in supermarkets. Um, I even bought ramune, uh, the Japanese drink here that I featured on my streams. Yeah, I don't see the touristy stuff, unfortunately. Hi. Hi, I'm going to go to はい。はい、ちょっと待ってくださいね。えっと、1000円からお願いします。はい。はい。明日。I'm really interested to know what you were trying to say there, Michael. Or did you just like fall asleep on your phone or something? <laughs> right. oh, kind of got wet. Um, I'll put this in the in the bag. This right here. It doesn't fall over. Cool. Give me a second, guys. Ooh, just caught that in time. Ooh. I got the really flimsy tripod today, so that's why it's hard to put things down. Put it down on things. Ah. Okay. Let's go. Ooh. Yeah, out of the Daiso. Thank you for joining me on the Daiso shopping thing. So just remember, Daiso. Um, they have a few, there's, I know there's one in Vancouver, and I'm sure they're gonna have one. Uh, there's one in LA, some major cities in North America actually have Daiso, but everything there is 200 yen. Okay, interesting. There's a hostel here, Nerare Hostel. So if you want to be right in the, the action here, you might want to stay at one of these places. Um, honestly, I'd recommend if you're going by yourself or with a small group, Airbnb is a nice way to, uh, to enjoy your stay here because then you have a nice wide base that's got like everything you need. Sometimes it has a place for you to wash your clothes as well as um, a kitchen. So. You know, there's a lot of stuff you can do at Airbnbs, and they're situated all over the place, and a lot around this area as well, for sure. Let me know if you guys have any questions as I walk to our next little destination here. This is a long, um, long light to wait for. So I'll just pan around a bit. give you a feel for the place. All right, 
If you're just joining now, it's MC Lido live streaming on location. We are just exiting Denden Town, which is like the Aki, Akihabara of Tokyo. Oh, sorry, Akihabara of Osaka. Akihabara they have in Tokyo. And I find this place a lot more accessible as well as easier to manage. So, um, but yeah, pretty much got a lot of the same sites, uh, just a little more compact and uh, a little bit more friendly in, in my regards. Um, oh, PCR tests. 3,000 yen for a kit. I know that's becoming more and more common everywhere. All right, so yeah, as it's like close to nine o'clock, yeah, just after eight o'clock, everything dies down. You know, people go home. Um, there's just gonna be a few places open, which is kind of nice in a way. I get to show you a little bit of what it looks like at night here without all of the congestion. Um, and I'll take a few photos before I head back. A few photos and video clips too. Uh, for making another YouTube video or for my uh, YouTube intros and endings. Great place to take thumbnails as well. Yeah, so this is, we're heading into Namba now. And uh, on my right here is all of the restaurants and bars and it's called Ura Namba. So Ura means backside. So these are like all the back streets of Namba. And when I say back street, I don't mean like they're dirty or anything. There's all these little side streets. And just discover a uh, place. So you don't like necessarily, here's, here's a good example. So all these little lights down there, and they would be actually more lit if it weren't in coronavirus time. Uh, so here's a huge Muji Rushi. This is a cool kind of lifestyle place that sells furniture, clothes, food, everything. Um, again, it's closed now, but it has a restaurant in here as well. Um, but normally this would be a cool place. You can actually get free water there if you bring your own water bottle. So that's a cool place. Muji, it's kind of like a Uniqlo meets Ikea. Uh, yeah, and then on the left side of it, or on the other side of it, Loft, another cool kind of lifestyle place. Uh, stationary, just little goods here and there. A little bit more expensive, but a little bit more specialty and um, fashionable, I guess you could say. I have a question for you guys. Do you guys know how to say one in Japanese? One, how do you say the number one? If anyone knows, please type it into the chat. How do you say one in Japanese? Is another Starbucks here? I think they're just closing up as well. Okay, and on my left is Namba Station. There's actually a movie theater on the right, another Shoten guy on the right that connects to Shinsaibashi. I think we might have passed by there. Yes, Mr. Ivan, you are correct. Ichi, okay. So how do you say circle in Japanese? Does anyone know how to say circle in Japanese? Good job, Mr. Ivan. Nihongo Jozu. Nihongo Jozu means you're good at Japanese. Does anyone know how to say circle in Japanese? Okay, I'm gonna avoid the Shoten guy for now. A lot of young people just hanging out around the station. Just hanging around. Yes, Khan, you're correct. Maru or Wan, yes. So this uh, department store on the right is called Namba and you can see the symbol, it says 0101. So how you pronounce it is Maru I. You don't say Ichi, you, you cut it off at I. So Maru I. So it's Namba Maru I. Yeah, Maru I. It's a big uh, restaurant, uh, how do you say, department store chain here in Japan. Maru I. They have one in, I think, Shibuya as well, Maru I. So yeah, to remember that Maru, Maru E, Maru E, Maru E. Let's call it Maru E. Zero one zero one. Hey hey. Oh no. 
It's interesting here, when I was live streaming in Tokyo, nobody would bat an eye, like nobody would really look or anything. But here in Osaka, people aren't as used to it and they're more curious than anything, but like, hey, are you? Are you recording me? They give me those eyes and those looks. Look at this, you see that building in front of me? That is, if I get this right, is that where they have sumo basho? Or other performance? I think it might be the kabukiza. And marui means round. Yes, that, oh, that's true, yes. And the adjective, uh, ha, I'm a smart ass. Yes, yes, you are correct though. And yes, you are a smart ass, but more smart than ass. <laughs> wow, look at that. I've never been there. Hotel Royal Classic. I believe they have kabuki shows and stuff there. I mean, look how traditional looking. Maybe they changed that into hotel. I'm not sure. Wow. Really cool. And then you have Cafe Street Namba next to Maru E. Again, not many people there right now. But it was kind of the same in Tokyo Mall, maybe not Shinjuku and whatnot. But around the shop areas, it would basically be dead after eight. Because, uh, yeah, people, you know, shops are closed. So, and a lot of restaurants, mm, are they closing now? I know when it was under a quasi state of emergency, which means like semi state of emergency, uh, they would only serve alcohol until 8 p.m. But now I think they're, the government's encouraging more another shoten guy, Namba Hondori shoten guy. They're encouraging uh, restaurants to actually close at 8 p.m. Um, yeah, let's go in a, in a shoten guy. So this is kind of, again, show you how busy it is around this time. All right, we're heading into one of the Shoten guys, Namba Honten, Shoten guy. Um, wow, this whole building's full of restaurants. Do you see that? All from like yakiniku, barbecue, su sushi, sashimi, sabar. Look at all the, the meat. Korean dining, steak, sumibito wine. That means uh, charcoal roasted steak and chicken. Look at all of that. Are you getting hungry? Man. Got a family mart on the left. I'm starting to get a little hungry myself. I'm not like super hungry. Relaxation massage. Then you get the Marui sign in the background there. Um, I think we're coming out to a takoyaki place on the right. Takoyaki sounds pretty good about now. Mm. If I ordered takoyaki, I think you'd let me uh, videotape and get it on camera, I think, for sure. Soul Mart. Another Korean looking. Oh, the McDonald's. Yes, I want to show you. Uh, Chika and I actually had, what did we have recently? We had the Hawaiian barbecue potato and beef burger. And it was pretty good, actually. Kikan Gente, which means limited edition, limited, for a limited time only. Garlic shrimp and cheese loco moco. Loco moco is like the hamburger and the, the sauce that they put. It's like a Hawaiian thing that they call in Japan, loco moco. Oh, um, from 8 to 5 p.m., this is only takeout now. Is it beckoning me? Is it beckoning me? And what else do they have? They're Hawaiian pancakes. Three types of sauces. What is that? McFizz, cassis, and orange. And blue Hawaii. I know if you guys don't know what cassis is, it's kind of like a purpley um, citrusy fruit. And they have a drink, an alcoholic drink here called cassis orange. It's a liquor, cassis. I've never really drank that much in Canada, so I didn't really know about it then. Starting to get a little hungry. Uh, mm, I am tempted to hit a kumbini and then maybe go by the river, Motombori, but just recently there was just kind of uh, some incident there where a guy got stomped and pushed into the river. It's kind of nuts. 
Hey guys, if you're just checking out the live stream right now, it's MC Lido live stream on location from the Osaka Minami area. We're in Namba. Just headed back from uh, Denden town. And it was interesting. I've never been to Denten down that late. And it was more maids than customers walking on the street. But uh, we're going to work our way back to Dotonbori, I think. Just give you, again, a pan view. What's going on here? That's a highway on top there. Yep. Hi there. Hello, hello. How are you tonight? Okay, I'm I'm trying to read your kanji. Is it Kawasaki Naoki? Oh, it's Mamoru. He goes, "Hi. I'm <laughs> I think it's Mamoru, right? All right, it's a green light. Let's keep going. Yes, guys, if you're just joining now, please do say hi and tell me where you are watching from. Don't be shy, say hi. Whoa, from here, it looks like there's a lot of people in that shopping arcade, Shoten guy. It might be a better idea actually for me to avoid that. I will show you a little bit and then I'll head off to the side. There were some other sites that I did want to show you. Super hungry too, yes. Oh, Torikara stick. Another Daiso. Oh my god. Okay, but well what we're gonna do is go in the Shoten Guy a little bit. Wow, it looks busy in. Um, These guys are called Bolsozoku, which means biker gang. And they shouldn't be driving here. That's super dangerous. What the heck? Yeah, they're just trying to be punks, basically. Okay. I think we're gonna turn left. Yeah, we're gonna veer off of here. That must be you, Mamoru. Is that right? Mamoru, super hungry too. You haven't eaten dinner yet? All right. I ate before coming out, but I ate around like five o'clock or something. So. I see on the opposite side, it, you can't read it here, but it says yakiniku like. <laughs> All right. We are heading more towards Dotonbori, but I want to show you some other places uh, um, that I wasn't able to show you earlier because we went straight <laughs> through Shinsai Bashi Suji Shotengai. Suji Shotengai. Look at all the beautiful lights down there. And we will come up to this fortune teller, the Urunai, coming up soon. Urunai, fortune teller. Ah, was that, is that Tori Kizoku? It's a different. Nama beer, 180 yen. So draft beer, 180 yen at this izakaya, which is pretty packed with young people. All right. Ah, we're at the famous Dotenbori sign on the left, if you can see that there. I took a picture of this last time and I think I posted it to Facebook and Instagram hoping to get some other nice photos but yeah I think it's where I want to show you yes this is now again the famous Dotonbori sign just look how retro looking that is and I think it was last time here where I was crossing the street. I was just in front of that Yoshinoya on the right where I met the zombie streamer. That was cool. All 
right, again, I'll give you a, a bit of a pan here as we wait for the light to change. Changing soon though. No pork ramen. Interesting. Is that vegetable ramen? I just saw it on the right there. Oh. <laughs> now this is an interesting entryway into uh, Namba because this is basically like the back streets of <laughs> Namba and you can see the love hotels but how cool is it with all the paper lantern stuff let's do it let's go let's go let's go let's go all right these paper lanterns it looks really bright on your end but it's darker on my end oops Oh, damn, it's saying low battery, 20% left. Okay, and actually I don't <laughs> um, have a spare battery with me. Um, I do have the cord, but then I will lose the microphone. But that might be a good sign. Okay, so yeah, if we go over this street, then we'll see kind of where I want to show you. Oh, again, look at that the Buddha and those are not the signs that you're looking that you think they are Wow okay let's go in this way if I kept going straight it would be basically more love hotels but holy oh, that's beautiful I gotta take a picture here later check that out Wow love it Hope to get like some starburst there later. I think I might have passed this way earlier. Seems like I have. I hear some English in the background and might be some foreigners that I actually might know, but I don't know know them. But anyways, I want to show you space station if I can. And what else? The Blarney Stone if I can depending on how much juice I have left here. I think Space Station is down this way. Now Space Station uh, is a, a video game bar that is owned by my friend Matt Block. He was actually on the live stream uh, a couple of streams ago. Maybe the one at Old Sock Castle? I can't remember. And um, he's in America right now. America. But uh, when he gets back, you definitely want to visit Space Station and Give him a shout out there and maybe do a bit of an interview because uh, that is such a cool video game bar i don't think they have them in other uh they don't have them back home in north america anyways they're like video game themed bars but nothing like space station where you can just go and hang out and there's other ones but this is the the best one that i know is my friend i think he went there with a few friends frank and chica and uh, jerome and Anne. we went there and that was pretty cool okay Yeah, you definitely do have a few love hotels in this area. On the left. We were there about... Um, and my battery is down to 20%. But I want to show you guys a few other things uh, before my battery <laughs> runs out. So, all right. All right, we are basically at the edge here of this area. Fat, but thank you so much for being on the stream. Have you been to Osaka before? It's, it totally sounds like it. And uh, yeah, El Glico. That's right, when I went there earlier, it wasn't lit up, but uh, hopefully the battery will give me enough juice to get there and then a little bit more to get home. <laughs> Are we, I think we are at the, the street with Space Station. A little takoyaki paper lanterns. Shimia, I had a great time at Space Station. I'm wishing the best to all the bar owners in Japan. Oh, I so see you went there, Mr. Ivan. You know what I'm talking about. Yes, it's on the left here. Matt, if you watch this on the replay, we are waiting for you to open, man. Space Station. Yes, 
So uh, maybe I'll put the Google map link uh, later, but we're definitely gonna uh, interview him. I knew Matt before he owned this place and this place is cool. It says from July 12th to August 22nd, it will be closed. So after August 22nd, a few more weeks, we'll get there. So let's get there. Awesome. And the cool little yaki tori bar here, but ah, yes, it's Taco Taco. This is a cool place. It's one of my favorite taco places. Uh, wow, look at that cool um, shutter. Gotta take a photo of that. Oh man, there's just so many cool photos to take here. I'll take a quick photo while you guys look at the takoyaki place. I'm taking a photo with my other iPhone, the older iPhone. Yep. Yeah. Nice, I think I got it. Hey guys, this is what it looks like. Yeah, nice. Oh, you met him. Yeah, he is a really nice guy, isn't he? But um, Taco Taco is a nice one. Near the Apple store, there's another nice one called Taco 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 King. And I think beside that store, they're closed right now, but it's a shisha bar <laughs> that, again, you can have some pretty nice random encounters. We're getting close to Triangle Park now. Ah, oh, yes, and the big mandarake is on the right, but it looks like it's closed. Damn. It's this red looking building here. Mandarake is a used toy shop and, and stuff. Oh, it looks like it's either under renovation or closed. It looks pretty closed because I can see the graffiti. Yeah, man, 10 people on the stream. Hello, people. Nice to meet you. Um, and if it's your first time here, hello and welcome. Can we give everybody, uh, all the new people, a nice welcome? FET0111. Welcome to the MC Little Japan fam. Okay, we are basically at Triangle Park. This is a capsule hotel that seems to be closed. But if you don't know what a capsule hotel is, it's basically, imagine that you are living in well, like a space station and you only have this little cubby to, to sleep in. They're super cheap. We have um, shared baths like onsen. And then, uh, yeah, it's definitely something you want to try out here. But this is like the Harajuku of Osaka, basically. It's kind of like the young people, eclectic, colorful. Hey, Fett, nice to meet you. Yes, Khan, please give him a nice warm welcome to the Japan fam. Um, and to Lito's live streaming on location. Now, just to let you know, Fett, I do do regular lives also uh, on top of these impromptu lives every Friday night, 9 p.m. Sorry, every Saturday night, 9 p.m. in Japan, and every Monday morning, 9 a.m. in Japan. And uh, if you subscribe and like, uh, you'll get the notifications for when those go out and what topics we'll cover. But recently, I unlocked live streaming on location so check those out as well. Those will be littered out throughout. And this week, um, it's not a typhoon or anything. A typhoon just passed. Look at these cool um, street lamps. Seriously, they, they look like um, the Clone Wars or the cloning facility. If you're a Star Wars fan, it looks like those really tall aliens. The guys who make those clones. Yeah, this is so, so Osaka, so cool, so different. I love it. Um, spins, this is a, a nightclub actually. And this is the infamous Triangle Park, which is like nobody here. There's a Koban, a small police station right here, which is sometimes manned. Um, you know, all the Olympic skaters and stuff who uh, got gold and stuff here in Japan? Yeah, a lot of them would come here. Uh, like, there's a lot of skaters here in this park. This is Triangle Park. It's in the shape of a triangle, obviously. Oh, I hear some metal, dude. Okay, this is for Khan. Genocidal humanoids. System of a down. System of a down. Oh, this is totally gonna flag uh, YouTube. Oh, shit. I was trying to put my horns up, dude. <laughs> Are you going nuts? Are you going nuts there, Con? Come on, please, please say you're going nuts. All right, I, I'm definitely, it's definitely gonna get flagged. Um, 
But yeah, man, during Halloween, this place is the place to be. It's nuts. A lot of cool shops here, clubs. Uh, they got the family mart there. Um, I could totally see myself having a break here and just chilling. Um, cool place to do photo shoots too. It's just like the place for people to, young people especially, to um, gather. It's kind of a safe place, right? They got a police station right there. But yeah, cr Halloween is the crazy time. Um, I, I know that even, oh, cute, the rabbits and the statue. I even know with coronavirus, head is banging, man. Yes, that one's for you, dude. Who's next? Horizon Diplo presents Thomas Wesley. So we just got in at the right time. That was your metal mix, dude. Yes, system of a down. Lina Mitraid, hello from New Caledonia, Miss Osaka. Oh, New Caledonia. Hello, all the way there. Wow, that is amazing. Thank you and welcome. Uh, bienvenue à la stream. Je suis MC Lito. So, it's depuis longtemps que je parle français, mais uh, I'll do my best sometimes. No, I know you speak English, but I think you probably speak French there too. You miss uh, Osaka. Oh, again, all of you guys on the stream, thank you for saying hi and telling me where you're from. Um, Osaka misses you guys too. We really hope that once everything opens up, you guys can come back. Yes, okay. Uh, this Lexus almost uh, was dyslexic <laughs> for a bit. Deaf Music Mall, what the heck? It's a new place. I don't even see what's inside there. It's all black. Just the celebratory. Deaf Music Mall, respect my family. Washoi. Um, celebratory flowers. I can smell the flowers through that glass. I guess it's not um, not fully sealed. Uh, wow. This place is just funky. Like Amemura. This, is, this area is called Amemura. It has Triangle Park. Starbucks here. Look at all the beautiful lights. Oh, dude. So scenic. Take some nice photos here later. Oh, wow. That's... The steps are pink. At the very top there is a music hall. I've actually performed there once a long, long time ago uh, with the music school I was teaching at. It was so cool. Um, uh, I think that Starbucks is closed though. Um, yeah, this place is called Big Step. Do not um, confuse it with Big Step the shoe store because they are basically the same name. Pinball Arcade, 100 more pinballs. One play 10 yen? What? I have to go to that place sometime. That is nuts. Cool. So Liliana, again, warm welcome to the MC Lido Japan fam. Um, I do live streams like this whenever I can, impromptu, but I have a regular live stream Saturday nights at 9 p.m. here in Japan, as well as Monday mornings, 9 a.m. So we're trying to get people in different time zones. But thank you, please like and subscribe if you're getting value from this. So you'll get all the notifications of when I do the regular and the impromptu live streams on location. It's really great to see you all the way from New Caledonie, Nouvelle Caledonie, or is it Caledonie Nouvelle? That's awesome. I actually knew, um, you know, I've been part of the music scene here in Kansai, basically from my whole time here. Uh, you know, cover bands and this and that. And I remember a long time ago, um, one of my musician friends helping out a young female artist from New Caledonia. His name is Fuyuki Hiroyoshi, amazing guitarist. Yes, Khan, you know him. And it would be crazy if you are the musician he was talking about. I know there's not so many people living in New Caledonia, so Caledonia, so I wonder if you know Fuyuki Hiroyoshi, Fuyuki probably did some of the guitars on your track. I think, oh, I mean, if that is you. Um, uh, I think the artist's father was a pilot that flew one of the planes coming over to Osaka all the time. All right, and this is the Apple Store. This is basically the mouth of uh, Shinsaibashi. Oh, not Shinsaibashi, of Amemura. Um, yeah, I just upgraded my iPhone to help you with the stream, guys. We're just gonna rock and roll over here. Woo! Hello, the new 
M1 MacBooks and iPads. And yes, someone wanted to see Doltenbori, so I will do my best to grant your wish. And then maybe after that, I'll probably have to get off because unfortunately my battery is, is dying. We're almost on the three hour mark here, but I wanna say it's been an awesome, awesome night with you guys. Um, it is the start of Obon here, so that's why it's also quiet. Unfortunately, Osaka is under a state of emergency, which also means most places are closed at 8 p.m. So, anyways, let's, let's head to one more quick place before we go to El Glico. And then we'll probably, that's a probably good place to end the live stream. There's one more bar that I used to frequent here. Not because I like drinking, which I do like drinking every once in a while, but because my band used to play there a lot. It's the Blarney Stone, Shinsaibashi. I doubt they're open at this time, but it might be interesting to check it out. They're on the same street as the Apple Store. I forgot what the street is called. Um, it's a something something dori, Sekai dori, I forgot what it's called. It's been a while since I've been in this area, like seriously, years. And if you just go straight down this way, it's on the same side as Dotonbori Bridge. Just go straight. You want to be on the right side. So at one point we'll have to cross over. And yeah, Shinsai Bashi Suji, we were here earlier today. And what you'll have to do, look at the brick, the brick uh, building here. This used to be uh, Krispy Kreme. All right, whoop. And uh, it's now a polo store. So interesting. And uh, again, this place is usually packed with taxis and people walking to different clubs and restaurants and venues but it's super not busy again obon is the season where people often go back to their hometowns pay respect to their ancestors at their graveyards their cemeteries or just go back to visit family that they haven't seen in a long time so this could explain why it's so super quiet here uh, on top of it being a pandemic, of course. All right, so we're almost there. Uh, Khan saying, I kind of have a funny Blarney Stone story to tell, but I can't tell it here. Maybe somewhere more private. <laughs> yes, don't we all? <laughs> all right. And this is Osaka. Nobody really heeds the lights as long as it's safe to cross. And I just did it. Okay, I believe I'm in the right place. Getting close. Getting pretty close. Unless I'm on the wrong street, let me... Oh, yes, this is the other taco place I wanted to show you. It's Taco, taco King, yes. They have blues music. Can you hear that? Oh, snap. Uh, step in the puddle. I love this place. <laughs> See my set? Gotta go here sometime. They have people in there and Mochikairi. Uh, that's it, one more block. Taco Taco King. Gotta check it out. I love how they have blues music in there. So cool. Yes, yes, we're basically at the Blarney. Ooh, nice little tubaki type of ramen there. Tantan men, maybe? Looks spicy. Looks nicey. And the interesting thing is like some shops are open way late here, right? Like you'll have hairdressers and stuff open. There's a lot of mm, nightlife, night shops that do their thing like after a certain time. So like flower shops and drug stores and like a lot of stuff will be open way later here than most places. So yeah, here's the Blarney and it looks shut. Yeah, it's closed unfortunately, the Blarney stone. Um, so yeah, that was a wee bit of a walk. I used to lug my keyboard and stuff here. So the Blarney Stone Irish pub, there's one in Umeda too. And this one's more of like a jumping point for people to head to other bars and clubs here. Really fun place. Saturday, they'll definitely have live music. Sunday, they sometimes have live music and you just go down one floor and it's a lot of fun. And oh no, someone like punched a little, this isn't paper or anything. This is, Harder. Someone punched that. Poor, poor thing. Um, 
pumpkin looking thingy. Okay, guys. Do you know Zion Bar in Amemura? Zion, yes, I think I do know Zion. Oh, Might have been there once. Can you describe it a little bit to me? I think it's, is it an Amemura? I know zero, uh, Zion in Amemura. Describe it to me. Was it like a surfer bar or was it on the first floor? Uh, were there any other famous bars around it? Because again, it's been a while since I've been out. The name obviously is very familiar. What's here? D Racing simulators. Wow. Full on like VR looking simulators that you could probably rent or play. Um, like the car moves around. Thank you for asking. Uh, Zion bar though. Oh, this is a cool bar, the Lux bar. A lot of stuff has changed. Whoa, I can hear some electrical wires kind of zapping in the background. Um, Zion bar, let me check it out or if you can send me a Google map, I will definitely check it out on my next trip out here because just uh, my battery is dying, getting closer to it dying. I'm gonna head to the Shoten guy so I don't get lost and make sure that I show you El Glico on the stream. Right. Three guys just are following that one girl that's showing them to the girls' bar. So they got some customers. <laughs> All right, let me just uh, close up my umbrella here. Sorry. Ooh, and while I do this, you can see the little. Wow. That place is jam-packed. Did you see that? Um, and see, here's the thing with the state of emergency in Japan. This is, uh, is it yakitori and other things? Oh, 10% battery. I got ahead. Um, hold on, let me zero out the gimbal. Oh. So, 10% battery, guys. Let's make it to El Glico for you. I'm, I'm running right till the end, right till we're running on fumes at this point. Um, Hanapochi. See, this is what I'm talking about. Like their little flower shops and stuff. They, oh my God, $550 US for that stand of flowers. These are, I don't know, there's like little gifts. I don't know the whole culture here with that, but there's just like, subculture of really rich patrons going to bars with girls and giving them brand bags and presents and uh, it's the hostess bar kind of thing. Yeah, see there's like a, a reselling brand bag store right there on the right. They're, they're open now. There's that Lexus. I have a feeling that might have been a, a Yakuza car. Just telling by it. Fed so me maze. Many memories at Blarney Stone. <laughs> yes, Fet. Did you used to live here? Um, if you did, let me know. And uh, how long has it been since you've been in Osaka, dude? Um, I'm glad to have you relive your memories through my, my walks here. You can kind of uh, experience them through me again. I know a lot of people have been to Osaka or want to come here and they're kind of living vicariously through my live stream. So that's the whole point, dude. Thank you. A Blarney Stone. Did you go to the Blarney Stone in Umeda or Shinsaibashi more? Or both? All right, we're back at the Shoten guy. Fet, this one's for you, man. Uh, we're about uh, maybe a five minute walk. When I bring out my friends, we awfully often go out to um, this area for a night and so many crazy random things happen. Even last time I was here, I met these streamers randomly and we became friends and like the whole stream was just me hanging out with them stuff so this is what I love about Osaka honestly pandemic or not like it's the idea of going out somewhere and just getting friendly with some random people and making it a, a really good night you know so yeah sometimes you drink too much <laughs> sometimes you go home at the first train at five in the morning but there's a little bit of the experience as well. And some of you who know me and have actually come out here with me, you know what I'm talking about, for sure. Yeah. And if you haven't come out yet, once uh, things open, 
keep in touch and uh, who knows, maybe we can do some sort of meetup. Holy crap, there are a lot more people out there than I thought. Last time it was dead, but it's like, what time is it now here? 9 at 30-ish? Uh, let's see, there's a lot more people than there was before. Maybe just, just it's all born and everyone's, yeah, it's about 9.30. Everyone's tired of it. Lilia is like, fit, aha, at Blarney Stone and in so many other places, yes. You guys are obviously reliving some memories. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Guys, make sure to give this video a like and subscribe so you can come back on the next live stream on location here in Kansai and Osaka. I'm gonna hit up all these different places, but I'm so glad to have you here with me in the Minami area, yes. All right. Okay, again, it, uh, there's more people than I thought, but it's not as bad as I thought. All right, let's go. Rain is starting to gob down a little bit, a little bit. Oh, Fett, what's this? What's this? Oh snap. Oh, can you see that? It's on the right, brother. Oh, El Glico. Okay, this is where you get your um, screenshots in. I will try my best to hold it steady. It's all these people getting photos taken. Okay, I'll try to hold it. Maybe there, get a little bit more of the people in there. Put Glico on the bottom there. Glico's El Glico. Get your screenshots in. If any of you have my face, send me a screenshot in Messenger. I'll probably hang out here for a little bit longer after the stream just to take some photos and whatnot. Ah, getting a little hungry too. Awesome. There you go, man. There you go, Fet. El Glico. And he's actually not lit up. Uh, strangely, he, he only lights up a little bit now and then, and I don't know why he's not lit up right now. I'm gonna go to the other side. There are a lot of feels like non-Japanese people kind of hanging out here and stuff. Everybody is getting their photo taken at the Glico, but check this out. This is like premium photo opportunity. Here, you guys. Get your screenshots in. Do it, do it. All right, I'm gonna give a, a quick pan. Okay, and then we'll go pan and 360. Both dude, I actually ended a few of your live sessions there. Oh, seriously? Oh, thanks, dude. There you go. Awesome, awesome. Hope you're liking that. And uh, dude, it's been great. I'm gonna, um, I'll put with me so you guys can see who you're talking to, MC Lito. Fett, thank you for joining. Lilia Mitrid, Mitrid, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Thank you for joining both of you. And Ivan, you guys have been awesome. Your newest members to the would stream longer, except my battery's gonna die. So maybe next time I'll bring a, a longer battery. But we've on, been on for three hours, so this has been great. Make sure to like and subscribe. Check out the regular streams coming up this Saturday night, 9 p.m. in Japan time, as well as Monday morning, 9 a.m., as well as these more impromptu uh, street lives, like the live streaming on location. And we'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much, and we'll see you soon. Have a good one. Say hi to El Glico. Bye-bye to El Glico. Bye-bye. See you.